I wrote my entire thesis around the idea that if you can um, regain a sense of control over your life in whatever capacity, that that is the best thing that you can do for your mental health. Control is one of like the foundational psychological um, experiences, I guess, right? Like if you can maintain that level of control or regain a sense of control with depression, there's a, a sense of a lack of control over you know what's happened in the past and being unable to change it with anxiety it's uncertainty about the future aka unable perceived a perception that you cannot control your future um so if you can take back an element of control that's the best thing you can do just generally speaking um okay, you're smashing that out of the park but you're not hitting yellow you have to talk into it i'm not i'm not a loud guy um as far as depression the first thing you want to do is identify triggers and identify if it's endogenous or exogenous depression meaning is it um does it have a source like is there a reason like do you have a shitty job like are you in a bad relationship like that could very well be the case right did you lose somebody um if that is the case then you know maybe it's just a time thing maybe it's you need to resolve the problem um if it's endogenous, meaning it's sort of internal, you can't seem to escape it. Things are going generally well, but you can't. Is that the clinical one? These aren't clinical terms. The clinical term is major depressive disorder, but um, okay. but yeah, I mean, there's different types of depression, obviously, right? Um, if that's the case, I mean, a lot of people are against medications. For the most part, I am too, but sometimes I think like if you're in a very deep depression, the medication can get you to a point where at least it can stabilize you in order for you to go see a counselor, in order for you to the, motivate what, yourself to get a job and to do things. Antidepressants, SSRIs. Uh, any antipsychotic? Uh, depending, uh, could okay. be. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let me let me expand on that a bit for our podcast here. Um, what if? Uh, <laughs> the Earth is what flat. If, no. What if? Yeah. <laughs> That guy's funny. What if... Um, Anyways, guys, the whole point of what I'm trying to say is um, try to regain a sense of control, perceived control, right, over your life. I imagine for a lot of people who are struggling right now with mental health issues, they can point to something that feels like maybe is out of their control. That's the element of counseling of psychology. That's what I wrote my thesis on. That's been my experience in, um, in counseling more generally. Of course, that can go to an extreme in obsessive compulsive disorders. What's the, what's the, di what's the difference from <clears throat> internal, external in s severity? Like, which obviously internal would be way worse. I internal is difficult. Is, is I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't like know. Like they say? It, yeah, it could be. It could be. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm of, obviously, as a therapist, like I push therapy. I think therapy is the one that is not a band aid solution. You learn through cognitive behavioral therapy you can learn like um problem solving coping skills like all these things that will benefit you and will benefit your kids and will benefit your wife because you explain these um can explain these to different people i've noticed that um obviously there's a genetic component for you know in addictions and things like that but I've, in in cases like where the parent one of the parents is addicted i've noticed that on top of the genetic component these kids never get a chance because they don't learn coping mechanisms the only coping mechanism they see is their parents drinking so it's very easy to replicate that actually i so, saw leo longevity talk about something he said some people don't have adhd but they have abusive parents so at 4 p.m when they're done high school they'll go to an abusive home and it will trigger them and that those kind of more micro, tri my, if those, you guys, those, if you can those, identify, excuse triggers. me, excuse me, sorry, those my, those micro traumas, right, or whatever macro traumas, uh, keep accumulating. So at four p.m. as an adult, they'll have manic um, spasms or, or erratic behavior, and so so, yeah, go yeah. On, there's on. there's a lot of pattern matching. I think um, it, the it, like I said, there's an element of control. There's an element of familiarity in doing things that. Um, you're used to doing so even if as a child you experienced a lot of anxiety you might be more might be more comfortable in that anxiety as an adult because it's familiar to you and not being anxious there's is sort of a lack of sense of control because you're just not used to that so i don't know what the fuck you're talking about but oh, sorry. um but I, I could see that like you, you know as as adults yeah, we, we pattern match um behaviors and, and thoughts and things like that from childhood that i I'll say this. Here's my two cents. Um, in all the eight years that I spent in school, um, uh, creating a, a sense of control over your life uh, and identifying um, maladaptive patterns. What are is the control? Two... Is that routine? 
Uh, yeah, it, it can be. Routine is really good, actually, especially if you, um, because if you have a routine and you can't, I'm just like going off about like certain things yeah, yeah, that yeah. I was talking You're to my clients about. You're way better if you don't look here. Just keep rattling yeah. on. Go ahead, rattle on. Um, a j routine is very good, guys, because um, it's also an indicator for when things are going bad. Sometimes we have trouble identifying when we're stressed out or if maybe um, we're missing things. But if you have a set routine and you know you have to be at the gym at a certain time, you have to be at work uh, at a certain time, you have to be asleep at a certain time. What if I can't get out you, of bed, though? But that's a good indicator. Then you know that's a red flag. Why didn't I go to the gym? That's the that's a really good indicator. Now we've identified that something is potentially happening. Then we can take the other steps to to address it. And what to, if I just can't get off the bed? It. What if the depression is like a layered blanket? This and, is what and, I'm. This is what I'm saying. I'm generally. Um, I, I believe in therapy. I to my core, I believe in counseling and therapy. Um, more, I would advocate it over medications. But in the case of somebody who can't get out of bed, how do how does that person? get the self-esteem the self-efficacy how do they find a job how do they have the motivation to go to work without the medication so sometimes it's better just get on the medication maybe short term um if, if you're really against it enough to get you to the job you, and then you break that cycle then you can sorry, start reinforcing like could you, pause could you get are you, done? Are you talking you, or am i talking yeah, you're sorry. <laughs> sorry okay what go ahead i'm wondering has anyone ever gotten seen a psychiatrist gotten on medication just for momentum and then yes the, most people do most of my clients do that actually oh i, I, I always I thought the medication stories are like addiction stories right no no you, you can't generally you don't there's no physiological addictive mechanism in SSRIs, um, but yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like Dr. Phil on Oprah. <laughs> Come on. Am I extra? <laughs> yeah. You get a bus. Um, what about... Why so many therapists avoid the nature argument? Yeah, well, here's the biggest question on Twitch, mm -hmm. actually. <clears throat> Right? Because why it, are so many therapists horrible at what they do and they're politically correct and they they, they there's they're, a they're, lot they're, of pressure no, to no, be no, politically no, correct no, no, and, yeah, and yeah, the doctors check, are having check, to be politically check it correct. Out, though. Check me out. A lot of them will Why don't have you their, go off on the doctor? No, no, no. Go but a lot the of them will start talking about shrooms with their therapist and the this therapist will not say whether uh, it's good or bad. Yes, because our job is not to give advice. If you want advice, you go to your friends. If you want um, to explore different things different aspects of yourself and i will say in, in defense of therapists sometimes you know you, you give up the battle for the for the war right so if your aim is to help the person get better so maybe it doesn't make sense to call them out in that exact moment just because you know they mentioned that maybe it's something they're exploring well why are you exploring that option why do you feel like you need to escape to another dimension you can ask these kind of yeah. Uh, questions. The what, one question that I that has been the most helpful, yeah, I think, for my clients. Fucking chat. Sp spicy chicken fingers. I don't write prescriptions. I'm not an MD. No. Well, <clears throat> what, what? Why would anyone go to a psychiatrist before a therapist? What is that? Doesn't that sound stupid? I, I psychiatrists are more so related with psychiatrists. I heard psychiatrists I just write a script. They don't even talk to them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't speak about psychiatrists. Okay, I don't know, but a lot of these guys in chat have gone but and seen when, specialists. When your weapon they, is they, medication, they like more. when your weapon is medication, you, you'll lean more towards prescribing medications. When your weapon is, you know, whatever type of therapy you use, cognitive, behavioral, dialectical, these kinds of things, you will, thank you, um, you will, um, you'll gravitate towards that. So I think there's just a natural tendency for therapists to lean in the direction of counseling and then for psychiatrists to lean in the direction of medications prescriptions things like that even how do you think religion plays in curing depression hmm. i Dep would say he's i think he's trying i guess he's trying to talk about uh, higher power for addiction i think yeah it's really important to get okay so <clears throat> here's the thing this is going to be a little bit uh, give us what you maybe give a little me. bit esoteric. Give us like we're paying you. Give a, this is a little we're bit. No, no. I, I, this Yo, isn't from a counseling. Some subscriptions. This guys. isn't from an, a counseling perspective. This is from a psychological perspective. And maybe it's a little bit esoteric. But try to stay with me. And I'm trying to think of it in my mind how it would work. Um, if you believe that there is no, <clears throat> I'm a little bit sick, by the way. So um, if, if I start if I start coughing. If you believe that um, there is no higher power, then that makes you the highest power, right? That's a very egocentric um, take to uh, personality to have, right? If you're egocentric and you're the highest power, you get to gratify any needs, any desires that you want in the moment. So there is no 
benefit to being disciplined if you can um, you can satisfy immediate um, needs which means turning to alcohol turning to eating turning to whatever if you have a higher power and you're not the highest power that exists then you can't justify a lot of these same things you don't get to gratify all the needs because you're not the most important person in the room that idiot thinks you're saying you're making an atheist take. You're, he's actually making the opposite take. I'm, uh, any higher power, I'm saying. So, How the fuck did well, he get that? Yeah, some of them are stupid. I'm sorry. Um, a lot of them think the that whole you're point saying, is be your own god. And, no, no, I'm saying the opposite of that. If you don't have a higher being that you look to, you have to just by elimination, you end up being that highest being. What that, what could be? A- so if you're the hold on, if you're the highest being. That's very ego. That's what we would call egocentric, focused on the ego, on, on your personal self, right? And if you're the highest being, you get to satisfy and gratiate any needs that you have uh, for yourself. And so that could easily turn into addiction. It could turn into sex addiction, um, alcohol, eating, all these different things, right? There's a, I guess a, what I'm trying to say is that there's a narcissism in that. Um, and, and from, like I said, my background is in addictions. Um, from an addictions perspective, especially if you, th- if you think that um, that you're the, the most important thing, then again, it just, in your mind, you have that core belief and then you have all these underlying assumptions that would need to reinforce that belief. So like John does, he orders a lot of food and he gets to, yeah. I want this right now and I'm going to have it right now. I'm, I'm going to order $100 worth of steak and I want that thing and all this stuff so what, what, i don't what and i don't think any of that higher power you. if if not a spiritual one is there here, is here, there family here's, can they replace it um yeah of course family but um here's fuck there's something else i wanted to say and i don't remember now yes family is very important um but I, I i don't know working with client like i always we grew up in a pretty solid family i think we all supported each other but as i started to work with clients i noticed that that's not the case for a lot of people <laughs> Joker society, <laughs> snake fuck bitch. You, I said all atheists are ugly, and I guess you don't want to comment on that. Sorry. I will say this: um, the I think if you can, um, in addictions, we would encourage people to take a more spiritual component. That doesn't mean like Christian or Muslim or, or whatever the case yeah. may be. Just to, that that you're not the highest power. Right. And th- the second reason for that is that it offers them a radical perspective change. That it gets them out of that lifestyle and mindset that they've been living their entire lives, yeah. and it allows them to think with a different end lens. to yeah, a different lens, but different end to the the way they perceive the world. Yeah, I I've always maintained. Does I don't know. Mean, I don't know if you believe this. So I've never talked to you about this. Religion. I've do they just I've, I've, quote like yeah, they, yeah, they just caught, they they do Instagram quotes sometimes. They say never give up without a fight and shit. But but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, but hold on, but hold on. Check me out though. Check me out though. Wait, hey, you're on the Zerka show, buddy. Disclaimer: Some people have had really bad experiences with religion and spirituality. Right, right, and I and that's and that's exactly where I want to pause it. I, I've always maintained religions there to enslave the idiot and enlighten the genius. What do you mm. think of that? Yeah, I, I feel like you hey, want have you, <laughs> have, have you noticed that? Have you noticed that d- dumb people, religion are extremely dumb, but smart people with spirituality really go f- go far in life? Hmm. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next question. No, no, you can be completely fine. I'm just saying that they're from like a from a theoretical basis, right? Um, even morality. I don't know if you guys have heard this argument, but like you know, they say like can morality exist in an atheist like oh, atheistic like world? Yeah. yeah. And I'm of the mindset that um, yeah, you'll have like moral people here and there, but you'll never have a garden. You know, like you can have a flower grow in the cracks between cement, but you'll never have a garden there. Yeah. You have to cultivate it. Yeah. Um, a, I think, like a I, moral think foundation. I think I think the best argument for spirituality is like, where the fuck do laws come from? From fucking old ancient books. Yeah, but where did the old ancient books? No, get before from? that, it was fucking pagan shit. Or excuse me, before that, it was uh, caveman shit. <clears throat> mm. So I don't know. I think people should live in a. Fa- How about this? Check me out. Mm. I always talk about a faith based frequency, right? That if you live with faith, it's a more optimistic approach to life. Because you're a fucking atheist. Admit it. No, I'm not. I mean, you've never talked about God your whole life. Yeah, I. I Compared I, to me, you are a fucking atheist, dude. Yeah, but you like to worship like flat earth and stuff. Yeah, because I'm a flat earther, bitch. What yeah. the fuck? I don't Yo, know. I'm gonna fucking choke this guy so out. He only does that for attention, though. 
Really? You think it's for attention still? It's been years. Hmm. Get the fuck out of here, bro. This guy thinks he's on a spinning ball, this stupid car. <laughs> <laughs> also, the best argument I've heard for the fact that there's a heaven is somebody's like, well, if I told you that you're on a piece of dust floating through space, you'd say I'm, you're, you're crazy. But that's exactly what we are. So who's to say that that's not going to happen again? No, we're not. In a or that that can't dust, happen bro, again. That shit's retarded. You believe in primordial soup, too? Shut the fuck up, bitch. But whatever it is, you, you have to have, like, what what is the Earth, flat Earth on? Like, what is the... Um, it's the basement of the universe. What is the, like, what is it in, though? Like, What do you mean? It's it's, it's But it's just infinite? No, it's encapsulated system. Okay, but it's what's outside of the system? How would, that's, getting, like, that's, that's, that's like saying what's on the edge of space. I'm not God, bro. Okay, so we get to the same, like, place. It's just that I put a little bit more space, and you have just a flat Earth. Yeah, yeah, and yours is CGI photos, and mine is literal <laughs> fucking Go GoPro cameras and weather balloons yeah. at 120,000 feet in altitude. Fuck out of here. Could you beat John in a full-out fight? Most no, of his no, life no, he no. could. Most of your life. Most of my life, but I think right now there's way too much of a weight difference. 60 and pounds? And experience. 60, 60, and experience yeah. difference. Like, Maybe, but... No, dude, sparring is not fighting. I would wipe, wipe the floor with you. John's brother is gaslighting him. <laughs> uh, I think they're doing memes for now. This is a girl, the North girl. Ask if your form of a higher power should be platonic. Oh, oh, that's actually a really good question uh, for the dating segments on our podcast. Even what he thinks about porn and how it affects. Okay, okay, yeah, a lot so, of them are okay. addicted to fapping. Okay, <laughs> yeah, um, I have so many clients who um, have a problem with this. Like young men mostly. Oh yeah, I saw the studies. It's popular. This is a popular addiction. Huh? It it is probably like the, the, yeah. The and top. what's funny is that quick, uh, what's that called? Quick reward path of yeah, just yeah, going yeah. fapping. It starts to translate in their Cheetos eating. Yeah, their drug That's what I'm saying. Alcohol. You go back to that thing about being able to, um, like gratify immediate needs. And I don't think, so obviously with porn addiction, the the first thing that we look at is isolation and loneliness, right? That porn, uh, masturbation, um, sex, um, like all these different things mimic in the brain an aspect of, um, it, it mimics the idea or it tricks your brain into thinking that there's a connection there. Even with masturbation, with pornography, when you're watching um, whoever, right? Um, but <laughs> yeah. Um, but so that's the one thing that you want to look at. The the thing that I was going to say that you interrupted me about. Uh, you, you interrupted how do you feel me. about your brother? John the one Zirka thing you guys. In, how do you here's feel one about question. Your brother John Zerka in six months getting out of poverty move, and having two hundred thousand fucking dollars. Poverty, yeah, bro. In Yo, poverty? bro. Guess what? Guess what, bro? I'm fucking rich as fuck. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, bitch? Okay, okay. So what are you on. gonna do? Hey, give, give some subs. Fucking flex on this little bit. The the one thing I was gonna say, actually, I think a lot of these people, a lot of the, your viewers will benefit from this. the The question that I always ask my clients is, whatever behavior, whatever thought that um, you're struggling with, the best thing you can do is ask yourself the question: What purpose does this serve? What do you what, mean? what purpose does you vaping right now serve? Uh, what nail biting. What purpose does it serve? Uh, what is what purpose does nail, nail biting, biting serve? Oh, it's a oral fixation because I right, feel less like Freudian. a mommy. Very good. <laughs> is that true? Okay. All right. And the, the other one, maybe we can do it together. It's, we call it the downward arrow technique. This is also something you guys can do yourselves. By the way, this is free counseling advice. I better get something for this. Yeah, I'm paying you. I'm paying <laughs> like, you. Guys, I'm these, paying you. Yo, I'm paying you. I'm ask paying yourself, all of the, what, is, what is the purpose of this behavior? What is the purpose of this thought that I'm having? Um, what, like, what, what does it serve? Like, how does it Give benefit me? Give us an me? example of a fucking thought, bro. Jordan Peterson, bro. Can let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Right? Hey, I appreciate the five gifted anonymous. You fucking. Guys. Okay. He, here, here's one. Here's one. That, you have a name when you give. Here's, here's one. Here's, <laughs> shut up for a second. Here's one that um, I spoke to. Um, <laughs> we want nothing from you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Wait. What do you mean? Uh, they need, they need, okay. I don't know. No, I don't I'm know. If you don't ever talk to guys without the subscription, I, I was going to say, um, so, so I don't know fuck if you got, you shut, free the, shut the bitch. fuck up. Um, one thing that comes up a lot is a derealization and like dissociation. I don't know if, do you, are you familiar with it? Uh, on the mic. Stay on the mic. Derealization and dissociation. Uh, actually, I used to Are smoke. you familiar I with it? I used to smoke when I was in high school. I smoked bad stems from weed, and I experienced derealization for two weeks and burnout. Okay. And it made me question reality so much. Right. It made me question okay. reality so much 
that I had severe anxiety for two weeks because I smoked stems. Okay. Uh, <coughs> okay. So first thing <coughs> as a counselor and therapist you want to assess for is, is this drug related? If it's drug related, then chances are for you, I guess it was an effect of whatever drugs you were taking at the time, yeah. the substance. But I'm saying for people who've experienced weed, traumas, like, for uh, people who've, are you talking or am I talking? Six a gram. Fuck this guy, man. I can't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go, go on. I'm I lose my train of I'm thought. Manic. I lose, I'm, I'm so I tired. Slept. I lose I'm my manic. train of thought. Go ahead, go ahead. Friendly care package inbound. Tax donated no, $5. Good. Paying my Zerk at tax. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What the uh, fuck, the man? Stems. Oh, he the always stems. does this. Never at let the stems. We're at the stems. <clears throat> Oh yeah, so if it's not drugs and you find yourself, this is just an example related to that purpose thing that I discussed earlier. Um, if, for example, um, you find yourself, um, you know, experiencing dissociation or derealization, you can ask yourself, what purpose does that serve? So in in one paper that I wrote um, when I was doing my master's, um, <laughs> really like like esoteric stuff and i'm trying to like get it out in a way yeah, that yeah, would make sense that, to your audience to and you this guy fucking interrupts me no i'm not that's not no no job. say i taste thank you anyways so we were asking what purpose did it serve to derealize right in that case study that individual had experienced so much trauma that it made sense it it was easier for his brain basically stop it stop this? it Can I have this? sorry I you can, what the hell? How are you going to answer it though? You're derealizing. The whole point is that if you recognize that you're derealizing, then it's, if you don't recognize it, then maybe that's a psychosis. So that's the difference, first of all, to gaslight Greg. Um, but I'm saying for people who recognize that they're derealizing or who are dissociating, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> You can ask yourself, what purpose does me derealizing um, serve right now? In a lot of cases, it's that um, it's an escape from trauma in the sense that it's easier to believe that this is not reality, right? Because it, it, if you accept the fact that you experienced all these traumas, it can be very, um, um, very damaging to your ego, to your um, schemas, which are sort of beliefs that you have about the world. Um, and, and, you know... Um, and that can be traumatic in itself, right? Oh. So it's just easier for your brain to say, hey, you know, this is a simulation, this is a dream, this is not reality, like it's just an escape. So that's one example for how you can ask yourself what purpose does this serve? Another technique that we use pretty often, that I use pretty often, is we call it the downward arrow technique. So I'm a cognitive behavioral therapist, I use dialectical behavior therapy as well, uh, and exposure and response prevention for OCD, but- You so much better than Anivar. But um what we do first is we try to identify negative automatic thoughts and this goes back to that person who asked the question about the depression what to do about depression identify the thoughts you have to be able to know what you're looking for how can you fight something you don't know that you, you how can you fight something you don't know exists so identify the thoughts first keep a, like a, a log in in one um column you can write down the event so what was the event um that triggered those thoughts or what was the trigger you can do that too in another column next to it, you can put down the exact negative thought that came up. In the column next to that, put down the emotion. In the column um, next to that, ask Did yourself. I do a Venn diagram? So give me a negative automatic thought you have about yourself. A uh, negative automatic thought. I'm um, stupid. I, so a lot of the times you make a mistake, you tell yourself you're stupid, right? I, or something like that. I don't okay, know. Just yeah. as an example. Yeah, sure. All right. And so the downward arrow technique would say would ask, okay, what does it mean to you if you're stupid? Let's yeah. say that that's, that is true just in, for the in, sake of this argument. It means I'm not going to get ahead in life. I'm going to okay. be left and, behind. And what does it mean if you get left behind? Uh, it means <clears throat> that uh, I'll be alone. Ah, so he, John got to it pretty quick. But the idea is that we're trying to, because uh, those negative automatic thoughts are usually very superficial, like surface level thoughts. We want to get down to the core onion? belief. That's the is problem. These onion? negative is thoughts. an onion? Yeah. No, it's an iceberg. So you have the tip and then you have like the, right. the foundation. But the foundation, so you can see how a negative thought like that, I'm stupid, mm -hmm. is so emotionally charged because it goes down to your fundamental beliefs that mm -hmm. you will be rejected, that yeah. people won't want to spend time with you. Also, my family and you'll members be were smarter than me my whole life. So it made and me what feel is, less. What does it mean for you if your family members are smarter? It means I didn't What does that feel, say about you? Yeah, it means I'm the lowest value in my family tree. And that uh, I'm a burden to them. Okay, and what happens? What What does it mean to you if you're a burden? 
Uh, it means mm. I'm not paying them back for carrying me. And what does it mean if you don't pay them back? Uh, biting the hand that feeds me and that I'm disloyal, uh, so see I'm grateful, John... and I'm a, and I'm a, I'm a snake. And okay, I don't, and I'm what not does it mean to you a, if you're all these things? It means I'm not what I project as a masculine man who takes and care And what does it mean tribe. to you that you're not a masculine man who protects his tribe? What, it, what would happen if that's the case? What does that say about It means about I'm you? a phony and I'm holding coffee. <clears throat> and what does it say to you if you're a phony? So we just keep going down. So John here, this is what we would call resistance. It's not to his fault or anything like that. Obviously, these are very difficult things to talk about. But the mind wants to just kind of stay in that area that they're com that it's comfortable with rather than going down to a deeper level. But eventually, I think we get to sort of core beliefs about feeling unworthy, um, feeling rejected, feeling isolated, If unless you can sort of make a lot of money. and <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah. My all of my self value or self worth, I feel like I'm not the only one too. All of my self worth, I feel <clears> like every man's self worth is tied to his, the resources he brings and the finances, but very few men will admit it. Sorry. Because I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Space um, down. <laughs> so it's like a lot of trolls. So don't don't read the trolls. He didn't leave therapy and work in bakery. Yeah, my dude. Is, I don't get it. Fucking hilarious. Um, what was I saying? Um, Man, you guys fucking money. me up, bro. Yo, hey, hey. Phalanx formation in the chat. Pull the spears out with one and zeros for the shields and shut the fuck up when we're talking, <laughs> you stupid losers. Keep losing my train of thought. Phalanx formation and time out anyone <clears throat> who's, who's Anna. A fucking... Anna is also... Don't worry about Anna. She's a fucking lunatic. Okay, um... That's my failings formation. The spear and the shield. Mm -hmm. The one and the zero. All right, let's go emote only. Yeah, let's go <laughs> emote only for a sec. All right. That's my face. Oh, this is so cool. Is it stream deck? Wow. Um, Are we moving that furniture or not? Yeah, that's my face, by the way. That's like when I'm trying to suck a cock. That's right, the emote. Right. I yeah. got a kick W. It's all Joker thing. Interesting. We spent a lot of time on this. Yeah. That's me crying. That's me with sunglasses, but still thinking of cock. Okay, um, we good? Okay, it's going to be emote only. So what were we saying? No, okay. I don't know. You something about that. <laughs> right. I feel that all men, especially young men, they will never admit this. And they're very confused in their early 20s because they think muscles are important. And then when they're 24 and kicked out of the VIP section because the businessman is fucking their girlfriend, <coughs> right? They start getting shocked into the real world. I feel like women don't have this, but men, their self-worth is tied to their financial state. Mm -hmm. And they will never admit that. And I feel like um, the moment you admit that, the moment you realize that you love stats and you love power levels, right? A financial power level, etc., mm -hmm. is uh, it's like a liberating thing. It's not a sad thing. Yeah, but then also, if your self worth is tied to money, then it I'm becomes... saying instinctively, and then like inflation hits and COVID hits and stuff like that, and your self worth that's goes to retarded. Shit. That's retarded. I'm saying <clears throat> instinctively, it's tied to it. I'm not saying you're choosing it. For, like evolutionary. I would love to have my self worth no, to be carrying a, a fucking water bottle around or something. But I'm saying instinctively, a man's self-worth is connected to, like, for for example, self-esteem is an external thing. Self-esteem is built through a black belt from your community. It cannot be internal. But everyone on Twitch argues the opposite, that you can just be, you choose in your heart of heart to be confident. You just got to be confident within yourself. No, confidence comes from your community, whether no, family or no, it doesn't. It comes, it from, comes from your ability. How so can it come it comes from, from internal? from your ability if you. How can it come from internal? No, no, it's not internal. We're, we're we don't. It, our experience is not entirely internal. It's mostly external, actually. Yes. But the idea that like it comes from community, is it can it can period. come from community, but it shouldn't. No, or it shouldn't no, come from other. Where's it should the come... self-esteem in a white belt? What do you mean? In a white the belt, the self-esteem was to the that the person c came in and started a new sport. That they have that okay, they know nothing about the it's very the difficult to do of, why isn't he a black belt confidence? of course your self-esteem will build as okay so this is back to my theory about control and i'm only here to sell this theory because I'm, I'm gonna write a book about it oh, but, really? uh, <laughs> um, wow. but but so self-esteem is tied to in in my opinion anyway is tied to control right so if you can and how and what is um a black belt ultimate 
control right perfect in, control perfect of control their trauma. so mastery skills right anything that has a mastery component i, I think um what's his face um Jordan Peterson even talks about this, mm -hmm. but anything that has a mastery component. They think Peterson's a cop. Yeah, I don't. I, I disagree with so much of what he says, and also I don't know. Like. All right. Anyways, anyways, anyways. go on, go on. Um, but yeah, if if there's anything that has a mastery component, um, of course that's going to be that that are, those are the areas that I think are tied to self-esteem. Uh, is it true that a man goes after a black belt because they have a traumatic event where a girl pushes them off a playground <laughs> and their insecurity leads them to this journey of being stronger than... What the hell? No, I think that's why people like Khabib even had to prove to his father. It's all from... Mm. Right? It's always a traumatic thing of I'm not good enough for someone. Yeah. Or no? Maybe not? Because I, 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 think... I made the argument that insecurity... You makes didn't give us some tips for the porn stuff. Oh, again with the all right. You guys are really making. <laughs> all right, here's, us look here's bad, what I'll bro. say, try guys. Let go try, of your try, talk. How's that for advice? If you don't think it, it's an issue, try to go uh, about a, try to go a month without watching porn. Try to go one month without watching porn. If you can't do that, maybe that speaks more to the severity of the issue. Maybe that tells you that this is more of a problem than I thought it would be. We used to say that in addictions all the time. Try to quit Can alcohol. Try, try to quit. Can he still try fat? to quit alcohol for three months. Do you think you could do it? Easy. And if you can't, does that say something else about? I how... can. It's just I've got a few events this month. Ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, try that out. The other thing I'll say is just identify like red flags and risk factors and triggers. Like try to identify what it is. Or they go back to that idea about what purpose does watching porn serve? Is it to address the loneliness component? Is it to get you to to let you escape from maybe a very like stressed highly charged world i was just watching wolf of wall street yesterday he's so when he's like i i asked what does he say he's like i jerk off yeah, okay. i want to Three but that's not the reason why i do it yeah, yeah. yeah. um well well um because <laughs> i'm horny yeah um... <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't fuck. I don't but know. But does that horn dogness come from loneliness? Where does that come from? Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like guys take an element of control back over your life. You control your horniness. Like, yeah, this is ridiculous. Like to, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I also, I'm also pretty stressed. I want to drink. I don't always drink, right? Yeah, this guy says copium, not addicted, just horny, as in they're coping. Are they coping? Yeah, coping. Um, it's all related. Yeah, but I don't like the negative. Co guys, go to the gym. It tells you to nut four times a day. That means you're spiking your prolactin. Four times a you're day. You're spiking your May prolactin four times I've a day. That's that, not though. healthy. No, I've heard that. Oh, cut the fuck up. Like it clean, like what cleans up. No, no, no. You don't want to fucking be. Uh, no, no. Just from a biological. From a, I, I'm a like counselor. I'm a therapist. I. I don't like. I look at things from a psychological. Is it always a control thing? Don't fap as much <clears throat> so you can have more control of. Uh, yourself. My I my entire theory of psychology and counseling is rooted around control and, like I said, I'm going to be That's writing a book. That's pretty based. So. That, that has a foundation. You can, it's no, no. It, it does. Like I've obviously like I've written my thesis around that. I've done a lot of things, um, and now I want to turn it into a book with my experience. I'd buy that book. Inshallah, bro. Ida, you know, John said something that really stuck with me. Treat yourself like you would treat a dog and keep yourself on a straight schedule. Basically, don't overfeed like a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Do and and, and, and yeah. have a walking it, exercise. That, but also like reward yourself. Like if you have, I, you know what the crazy thing is? My mm -hmm. self-esteem has never been lower than when I graduated. Mm -hmm. That was so weird. I had a goal that I was trying to like reach. And the moment I reached my goal, my self-esteem completely dropped because I had nothing else to look um nothing else to look forward to but then like yeah you develop a goal and you work towards it that's the happiest that i've ever been <laughs> we know you're <laughs> okay next question chat i feel like i i, I okay I'm can we go can we go no no, I this feel like I, oh, no no this is good this is a good momentum we're getting subs <laughs> and i didn't get as much today as i lied about Does your bro mean loneliness in terms of dopamine? You cheat yourself out through fapping instead of... No, no. Uh, he means that um, why a guy faps a lot has a lot to do with if he is lonely. with um, He's uh, missing a partner. 
No, no, not just that. If you just isolate, wouldn't that be the feel, evolutionary <clears throat> argument? Yeah, you could make that argument, but from an evolutionary argument, sex is just to reproduce, right? Okay. There's no psychological. Yeah, right. That's why I'm like iffy on like going the evolutionary side because it doesn't address any of the yeah. psychology, it's like correct. human psychology. It's correct. It doesn't, it doesn't cure anything, though. It like okay, so in psychology, we have four areas that we talk about: existential freedom, um, isolation, meaninglessness, and um, what's the last one? And death anxiety. These four. These four. Literally, evolution can't touch on any of them. Right. Religion can hit all of them. Religion hits all four of them. Oh wow! It addresses isolation. It addresses meaninglessness. It addresses That's the idea that we're existentially free. Fuck. Yeah, because it addresses all of them, and it addresses death anxiety. But um, that's what I'm like the evolutionary argument. Ne- it can't touch any of these. Right. Like, it, it, I don't know that. Right. It's kind of shallow, yeah. I'm attracted to people, but feel like no one is worth dating, so I end up just hooking up and ghosting people. Wait, you didn't wait. Go if, back. If you're, I, if you're, if you're, if I missed the beginning of that. Are you reading this one or this one? Ah, oh, whatever. You didn't talk about trust issues. Right I'm there. attracted to people, but feel like, okay, so this, uh, what I'd say is, um, look at what patterns you developed in childhood through your parents. Your parents, um, or I guess the most important people in your life, are the templates that you set for any future relationship you'll have. So your relationship with your mom very much dictates uh, your relationship with future female partners or, or male partners for your dad or whatever the case may be. Um, but you have those initial, um, what we would call objects in psychology. They're sort of, um, we call them objects because they're not always people. Sometimes they're aspects of people. Um, I don't want to get too into it. But yeah, take a look at what kind of relationship you have with your parents. And um, and I think that could be helpful for that. Um, that Ian, and we can talk about commitment that too. That thinks I'm talking. What the fuck? Does therapist John, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Yeah. Um, she probably not say that live. We have so many chicks here. She's also a therapist. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, imagine it's Anna of our chat. Uh, Eden, did you know that John went viral? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what is that? One gears. Eden, you should start a stream. You're really good at talking. Yeah, he's actually doing oh, so good. Thank um, you. And what? No, you're tired I'm, today. This is like your day off too. Yeah. Um, which you should see him with coffee, right bro, now. or some beta alanine. <laughs> Uh, how do I stop self sabotage after reaching big milestones, ruining the moment? Uh, self sabotage, yeah. <clears throat> self sabotage must come from a, a, a feeling of unworthy. Yeah, definitely. I, I think a feeling of un- unworthiness and maybe a fear um, of like, like moving to that change, to that uh, next level. Yeah. So yeah, something like that, right? So we we have this idea that we we keep certain again what we would call objects but certain individuals like our parents on this pedestal and they're and we we don't want to go past that because if we go past that then that means that we take on all the fears and things that they protected us from that means we have to assume that role so i don't know what your particular case is but maybe there's a concern about if you move to that next level then you have to take on all the fears and anxieties and things that that whoever's protecting you from that right now or whatever's protecting you from it will go away right right and um, it's a thicker challenge set of responsibilities and new lifestyle right yeah yeah for sure on a, i'm sure he knows that or yeah. they know that how to stop <clears throat> hey yeah this clip when, when i kicked when i hit you with the soccer ball that do you still have that oh it was a big clip apparently. you in your clip with john I, on soccer kick that. got on Intrusive twitch 2021 thought. rewind no way no way did it we, we have to check that out yeah we'll check it out uh <clears throat> how to stop and manage intrusive thoughts or my yeah. question Fuck intrusive thoughts because I've, I've been blocked. Don't I've, stop them. No, no, no. I've, I've been trying to block so them. My, my question, fuck his question. I have a question. Yeah. How I do should, you, I want to address How that, do you I... master thought loops, negative thought loops? How do you break them? Okay, so here's the thing. We develop certain thinking patterns crystallize, right? And they become habits. And for a lot of us, those tend to be anxious thoughts, negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. The best thing you can do, and I know maybe this sounds a little bit basic, but just replace the thoughts. So for every negative thought that you have, think of two or three positive alternatives. And I I only say this, like I was kind of hesitant to use this technique because I didn't really believe in it. Like it's kind of, it just sounds kind of cliche, but I tried using it myself and um, it actually ended up, really working but it's like a habit right it's like any other habit you have to break that line of thinking and set up new um a a new style of thinking so in the beginning obviously it's difficult write it down be methodical about it be conscious about it yeah someone wants you to talk to destiny it's this dude 
he believes in statistics of like why a cheetah is stronger than a gazelle but if you ask him are men stronger than women he'll be like depends which men and women he's like one of those guys <laughs> like he only he, he doesn't believe in dating stats it's fucking hilarious mm. uh, and then he backtracks and then believes them when you <laughs> his voice is so sweet uh, thanks okay. <laughs> thank you uh, turbo is that our our turbo that is our turbo if it has a moderator sword yeah no way i discovered What's a up? lot of negative thought loops on how to deal with them with shrooms shrooms are for fucking pedophiles bro <laughs> uh dude what a cool segment yeah this is sick um we <clears> will <throat> get out of our one day what do you think of carl young is I don't know. He's not. I like Young because uh, the subconscious his, his theories, is all there. Yeah, as a person, he's like fucking his clients and stuff like he that. He was banging his clients. He's banging his clients. So as I a like person, Floyd not Floyd the best. Cool kid. I liked him better. <laughs> uh, you uh, know, I like Young's idea of all subconscious is connected and conscious is you. I yeah, like yeah, that a lot. I, that I, it was like here before too. us. Yeah, yeah. I actually do like that as well. Like, it's interesting. You can go anywhere in the world and even without any contact between peoples, there's a yeah. tendency to, to go towards religion. Maybe it's because it addresses those other four areas. Um, addiction for huge yeah, For addiction, that's a it, scary turkey, question. You, you can't read it out, bro. They don't you, know oh, okay, so is going cold turkey better than gradually stopping? You cannot cold turkey benzodiazepines. You cannot cold turkey uh, alcohol. You can die. Oh, really? Yeah. Sanex. Uh, Why is it works so much better? Like <clears throat> when I would cold turkey cigarettes. Depending on how long you've been. When I would cold turkey cigarettes, I would waste my relationships away by like arguing and stuff. But when I tried uh, nicotine gum and then switching to vape and then zero nothing, mm. that step ladder was like a why, smooth why, transition. Why, why, why did you quit? Because you was told me I'd make more money. Mm. You said I'd make more money if I quit. Remember? You. Really... That's it. That's that's all. Yeah, about. that's and you were right. Yeah. Why you thought health reasons? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So just to go back to that last one, I feel like it's important. Never cold turkey alcohol or, um, or benzodiazepines. <clears throat> um, all right, guys, keep asking questions. All right, yeah, we get the memes, bro. You're not that funny, bro. <laughs> Maybe you've talked to Anna for the tenth time. Shut the Who's fuck Anna? Up. Just this fucking. She's the she's the town crazy Chopa Lopa. <laughs> <laughs> She dated a dude who. Uh, How can a, we find a therapist who's as smart as you? Well, actually, I do have a wait list right now, but get on our wait list <laughs> if you're in Canada and if you have like an insurance coverage. Oh, so if they're Americans, if you, you can't take them. Um, they can technically pay me. A te I'm not regulated. I, I don't think insurance companies will will cover that. So if you, if they're paying out of pocket, maybe, but. Put shit back. No, you keep going. Keep going. Nah, it's not. Does he know Haas? No, he doesn't. Do you know who Haas is? Huh? No, I don't. Okay. Um. What do you think about TikTok destroying society? I yeah, I have thirteen-year-olds twerking on TikTok. Social, Why are these yeah, parents social so media. weak? Yeah, but I feel like that's um, um, that's kind of a given. Like most people know, social media has destroyed our society. Like, I wonder. I always wonder. Like, is there going to be a demand for real jobs because everybody's a you know, yeah. Twitch and TikTok and stuff like that. What do you think I don't of, think it's sustainable. What, do you, what do you think of the politically correct therapist named Dr. K? I, if you let your politics get in the way of your therapy, you're not a therapist. Like that's well. Insane. Wait, he says he says when he's live, it's not therapy. It's just a talk. Is that I don't I don't know, but that's I'm saying if your if your intention and your training and, and your schooling is all rooted around the idea of helping some helping better somebody, and you allow your politics to take over. You're an activist. I think Ben Shapiro said that. He's like, you're not a doctor. You're an activist. Fuck Ben and Shapiro. I, yeah, I just I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of him either. But that's a hot take. Like I I think that's pretty. What did he say? You're not an you're not a doctor if you're you know an activist. Um, yeah, you're ben an activist. Shapiro's a fucking war hawk activist. But I I don't yeah I'm not a big fan of him either. But uh, no, no, stop I asking that, bro. Guys, uh, no. Eden, do you think alpha males exist? Alpha and beta <laughs> what frequencies. What do you think? Here, I'll answer but... it. I think that code of ones and zeros. It actually does exist because did you know a woman knows within the first few seconds if you're a potential mate or not? So she either categorizes you as a play, um, a real playmate or a dude who's going mm -hmm. to uh, do her favors and never get laid, yeah. right? And sometimes the betas do get some, right? 
they, they weasel their way in, right? But alpha and beta frequencies 100% exist, 100%. Hmm. In, in my world, you know? Um, I, I don't know, though. I have heard, like, the argument that um, you can, would you be an alpha in a, like a, in a group of, like, if we just collected all the alphas in a room and right. we put them no, all in one still, room? No, it would be a hierarchy and they would beta so there would, me. Yeah, exactly. They would yeah, yeah. Me. So it's relative, right? If it, it depends. If I'm in a room it's with relative. Sha- okay, if so I'm that's in a room with Shaq, am I the alpha? No, exactly. exactly. So it's relative, yeah. yeah. Eden, how to get over ex-girlfriend or losing a good friend? Man, time heals all. I don't know. That That is one area that I've actually struggled with, like grief, mourning, like loss, especially because I think a lot of the times, you know, if it's not death, like if you lose a good friend, you're losing the friends, so all the connections and all the things that you guys did together. Um, there's a component of, you know, maybe feeling rejected. Um, and then on top of that, um, there's a component of you know if it is a death maybe there's a component of you know your own death anxiety coming into play thinking about your own mortality um so that that's the hardest one to be honest as, as far as i've been able to tell those are the hardest yeah. clients to is help. having oh. a high body count a bad thing mm, what do you think 100 percent. if a woman has a high body count let me tell you something if a woman's surrounded by 10 men at the club ain't nobody want that girl but if a man is surrounded by 10 women at a club Everyone wants that man. Why? The woman in society is born with value. A man has to create his value. A woman has unlimited unlimited notifications since the age of 16 when a guy can't even get his grandmother to poke him on fucking Facebook. A woman at 16, 16 years old can move to LA and just figure it out. And a guy moving to LA at 16 without a job would starve to death. 100%. A woman is the flower. A woman is the prize. Her body count should be low and the males can be relatively high. However, I do maintain... Every time, every hookup is a micro trauma. <coughs> facts. That means based, like a based uh, set of facts. Yeah. Um, what is your take on the whole pandemic and affecting Jesus. mental health? So I, I, you're I staying was, indoors too much. Yeah, I was doing my um, my uh, practicum for my master's at the time when when COVID first started, and um, we'd never seen relapses like that before it was unprecedented really? vancouver has had the highest uh, overdose death in canada in i think in canada but in like in the history of vancouver oh, wow. it's been ridiculous like and that is just overdose like how many people how many people developed an addiction this time how many people is addiction um became more severe how many people relapsed like we, these are all things that you know if you live in vancouver you know we have a it's a real issue here but um but it was it was devastating. It was people who had been sober for what the fuck is that? Oh, this is a, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that that famous Iranian princess. Themselves. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. do you know about that? Yeah, them? yeah, I saw that. Um, but yeah, just going back to that, uh, I think COVID has been the absolute worst thing. I think for people, people who were sober for like five, six, seven years, they were sponsors on AA and stuff like that, ended up like relapsing. Um, bro, look at this, bro. It's look devastating. At Yo, I watched a video of a dude drawing a dick on a <laughs> Should I delete that? <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm gonna put your profile picture. In. Where? Um, no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No, no, no. Uh, okay, I guess you're not. I don't have a picture. Okay, next question. These curtains are really nice. Okay. So I feel like this is really helping. Yeah, close it a bit so it doesn't crack. Like, stop touching it with your back. That's such a nice thing. No, 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 close it. Close it. Uh, okay. Next question is, Has uh, what happens if someone opens up about their pedo thoughts? Pedophilia thoughts. You mean like from a, uh, from my pers- like from as a therapist, um, I am required to report to the police or authorities <clears throat> in cases where I suspect abuse or neglect or something like that. So if I suspect an imminent threat to to a child or something like that, I am required no, no. to so report an that. innocent man who has thoughts. Okay, so here is the difficult part. Are they obsessive thoughts, meaning that it's a symptom of OCD rather than something that they would want to act on? That's one area to, to assess. Can you turn the screen this way a bit? Yeah, give it down. No, I, I can't see that far. I don't have my glasses. Please, I'll take this one. Can you move your chair back too? Yeah, okay. um, but that's like that. Obviously, you know what's interesting. My um, my girlfriend's um, when she went to apply at a clinic back in the day, 
Um, her her now boss asked her that question in the interview. Really? Yeah. What would your take be? Uh, if I a lock pedophile... him up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's uh, it, it's obsessive compulsive um, thoughts, right? Come like a couch mode. Yeah. Couch. You know, and you, with what we would call pure OCD, where which is when you're having these kinds of thoughts that you're a terrible person, that you're going to act on these kinds of thoughts, that you're going to do something pedophilic. Um, the idea psychologically could be the case that maybe you view yourself so negatively, but that doesn't, you can't reconcile that with the world treating you in a, in a regular way, right? They're not treating you as badly as you see yourself. Um, and so there's a way, in a way, in a, yo, your texting is, stop. <clears throat> in a, a, so as a way to reconcile these beliefs that you have about yourself, your in, internal experience, and your external experience, which is probably pretty normal, um, your mind goes to, okay, all the things that you could possibly do in order for the world to see you the way you view yourself. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, so, yeah, I, I would assess for that. Cool. You don't, you don't have to talk as fast as me. You can slow it down. People love it. Too. Am I talking too fast? Yeah, people love. Uh... Psychology. He's still trying to sell his cult. Yeah. Actually, such a cool building, though. Yeah, Doesn't it I look do, like the I one at UBC? The, cool. the white building at UBC. How to stop or manage intrusive thoughts? John? Let's hear your. Oh, <laughs> uh, how on. to tr stop intrusive thoughts? <laughs> Why can't you um, fix John? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Uh, I how to stop intrusive thoughts? I guess my take would be um, it's a interest and dopamine thing where if you're doing something you're interested in, you cannot be rated by those thoughts as much, right? But if you're you know forcing yourself to study shit you don't like and watch stuff you don't like, then uh, obviously you're gonna wander. Mm. But if you're always doing stuff that stimulates you, you know what's interesting um, when when somebody's going through a mental health issue like depression or something like that ironically the things that would make them feel good exercising um hanging out with friends things like that are the first things to disappear and so that yeah. starts the feedback loop right yeah. um which is which is so from from like a cbt perspective uh, cognitive behavioral therapy we have what's called the symptom maintenance cycle the idea is that you have certain thoughts about yourself you know i'm stupid for example we go back I to that, that one right so if you have that thought what's the likely behavior going to be uh, when you have an exam you don't study because you feel like you're stupid yeah what's the consequences what's the consequence of not studying you fail yeah and the and then that failure ends up reinforcing the thought that you're stupid and so that the cycle continues we're losing john though okay <clears throat> cbt is not the best therapy it's, it can be good what i do is i use cbt to stabilize the cognitive behavioral therapy oh, i okay. use cbt to stabilize the client and then we go into understanding like the it, like getting insight about where it could potentially be coming there's from. so many <clears throat> therapists on twitch and they sound fucking slow in the brain compared to you bro mm. uh, you're <laughs> knocking these out of the park without thinking bro yeah but I, I, I was like some coffee and i was in the probably 98th or 99th percentile in my class um, oh, okay, something okay. like that Dude, so. i gotta introduce you to how stupid the therapists on twitch are and I run my own clinic now, guys. So, um, yeah. You get I your plug. I, 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 no, no, no. I don't. I don't want like. I'm kidding. I, I'm not. All right. Um, but I have my own private practice too. So. Oh, flex harder, bro. Tell them what's on your mind, motherfucker. Um, I maintain the thought that men who cry are pathetic. No way. No way. That's ridiculous. That's like. That's so ridiculous. Why? Why do you maintain that thought? What happens if you cry, John? Let's go back to the downward arrow. Okay. What does it say about when I cry? When I cry, I'm just reliving my my loss, right? And I don't believe in learning from your mistakes. I believe learning <laughs> from your win. I believe learning. I believe in learning from your yeah. wins, right? Like if you watch this game where you're playing shit How do you soccer, win if you don't make a mistake. Yeah, but if you, you watch, if you rewatch your this soccer, no, if you are, hold on, hold on. Come from poverty. Like, no, you did. Listen, listen, fuck listen, fuck bro. Like, what did you say from being listen. broke? Or being? What did you say? Oh, bro, from a bouncer, fifteen dollars an hour. What the fuck is fifteen dollars an hour, bitch? Yeah, I done. Twenty one, twenty two years old. Actually, twenty four when I went viral. Believe it or not. 
You were a therapist then, or a, a, a bouncer then? Yeah. Even when I was, even when I was streaming, I was doing oh, yeah, shifts. Yeah, yeah, remember? Yeah, we're, we're, dude, we're 27 now. I don't, don't. That gives me anxiety yeah, when you yeah, say, yeah, "Don't same. say that." Uh, let's not talk about age. Um, okay, because in a no, few, I, the, the crying thing is ridiculous. Like, what do you mean you can't cry? We humans have two components, and I guess, I guess this comes up a lot with me. Um, with my male, young male clients is that there's like a tendency to stick only to the rational, but to ignore the other part, the other half of you, which is the emotional is like to ignore an entire half of your identity. It's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> By the way, you're supposed to take your, t I know the chat moves. You're not supposed to move your eyes, bro. So take your time with them. Cause you, yeah, you're knocking out of the park, but you can slow it down. So like, my, my this is a like big that. one. I, I, I What's speak. your take on people with BPD, which I'm guessing is by bipolar actually BPD disorder is, BPD is actually an acronym for borderline personality disorder excuse me so I don't know okay. if they, I don't know if they BPD know that BPD having more resistance to PTSD <clears throat> at John Zirka do you think it could be BPD could, could be, be a genetic BPD. adaptation to emotion stability okay. in extreme conditions what the fuck does that mean I don't know what the fuck but it seems that like they the are weirdest. talking about can borderline can you just figure out what he's trying to say what's your take on people with borderline personality disorder having more resistance to PTSD having more res oh so being um, uh, there being a, a higher rate of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? resilience is yeah. that sort of what I, I don't saying? know how to answer this one is that what they're saying though that they're more resilient that guy's retarded. So Wait, go up, go back up. That guy, Can you find I don't know, the question? He, I think he's trolling. That sounds so weird. That's not even the In right question. In graduate school now for psychology, want to become a therapist, but I feel like I'm... Sp Wait, should we answer no, that? No, no, no. We don't give a fuck about your fucking career, bro. <laughs> go answer the hard ones. Do you think it could mean BPD? What's that last part? I can't see it. It's up here. Do you oh. think it could mean borderline personality disorder? <clears throat> could be a genetic adaptation to emotional stability in extreme conditions? No, I don't think so. I think um, in a lot of cases, personality disorders, yes, there's a genetic component, what we would call the stress diathesis model. So the idea is that there's a stressor in the environment and there's a diathesis or a predisposition. So you have a predisposition maybe to lean more towards a certain type of personality trait, the big five that we talk about, um, are you familiar with them? No. Uh, openness to experience. Wait, ocean. So openness to experience, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. I would say. High, How do you remember all that? What high high neuroticism, definitely. <laughs> That's what a master is, chat. He's a master at his craft. How the yeah. fuck you remember all this? But I would say high. Like if there's a diathesis mm -hmm. or a predisposition to be more neurotic, um, and there's a stressor in the environment, most likely uh, upbringing. That that is what leads to um, Eden. I don't understand. Elaborate. Where's yours? No, where did you comment? <clears throat> where did your comment go? But yeah, so I, I mean, obviously, as a therapist, I'm not too concerned about evolutionary um, psychology. I did take courses on it uh, during my undergrad at UBC, um, but. And you and I only mention UBC because it has uh, apparently it's in the top ten psychology departments cool. in the world. Bro, why are Americans so stupid? Like, if you notice, when they finish college, they're at high school level thinking at best. And Canadians, I know, I know. bro, when Canadians finish college, they sound like gods. Wait, did you know Canada is the most educated? We go have the most post secondary, but that's probably because you had to get regulated to be a bouncer, which is ridiculous. Isn't that in the same in the states though? No, I don't think so. No. They think one really quick thing. Bro, I think even TSA and all those guys do. What um, music does Eden listen to? I've been big on... Um, all right. Gorgon City, guys. Gorgon City. Tell me it's true. Um, like house, EDM, that kind of stuff. You like house, Gorgon bro, City, Cascade. No, no, I, I, I go back and forth. But listen to Gorgon City. Um, uh, bro, we do Dead Mouse oh, here. Can, can we play it? No, obviously not. We can. Right? We can, yeah. Really? Yeah. Tell me it's true. Oh my God, the but best. It, it might fuck up there. Gorgon City, like Cascade Man, right don't now. don't ask music, bro. Ask some real shit. Bring value. Yo, he's bringing value to the stream. You're talking about music, you fucking weirdo, bro. Come on, we don't have this every day. <laughs> lo-fi. No, he does listen again. to lo-fi. No, never again. Fuck? I listened to lo-fi for eight years yeah. while I was in school. Never again. How to deal with constant rejection and not lose hope. Bro, give up. <laughs> oh, that's the most important thing. So there's a, a, a higher correlation 
<clears throat> depression obviously is correlated with with suicide to some extent but there's a higher correlation between suicidality and uh, hopelessness so if you're if you find yourself um you know depressed but hopeful about the future again we go back to the element of feeling like there's a sense of control over your life mm -hmm. um check out my book guys <laughs> as i write about in my book i'm just kidding i don't have a book um but um yeah so if you can um the hopelessness uh, is a is a bigger red flag to me if a client i always ask my clients how do you feel about the future um so if you can find a way to be hopeful are most is, hopeless or they're like uh just they're somewhere in between i think okay. um what i is, think co coming to therapy allows them to feel like they're taking back an element of control over their life right yeah. that they're doing something do about they, it and that's helpful in itself or it could go the other i don't way, know if you're allowed to where they're acknowledging they that their problem for exists. you instead of someone else and do they like go i want to go with this guy oh yeah all the time i have a wait list right now and you then what happens the other me. therapy guys get jealous yeah i've also had clients come to me and say what you're 27 years old you mm -hmm. don't know i was like i've been studying this for eight years so yeah. i was shocked that <clears> um i met a guy at a bar and they knew you yeah. One of them knew you and his uh, stepbrother knew you. And they're really? like, he's the best therapist, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, yo, I, I fucking said, he's my twin brother. They're in tears laughing because <laughs> no they thought I'm trolling. And I'm like, dude, he's like, you guys don't look that much alike. No, but it must be like hard, I imagine, because obviously we're POC. Uh, you know what that is? People of color. Piece of... Sh oh. <laughs> no, I've had like, um, like obviously, in, it, it, male therapists are in high demand, first of all. Why? Young male, because there's very few of us. There's only like oh, really? 30, 30% maybe. Oh, because women are finishing college at higher rates, right? Uh, yeah, and also I think there's just a bigger... Um, it, that's the way it's split up in, in BC anyway. But we are... Um, I'm a young male person of color, which means that, you know... That, yeah. And Shout obviously, and trolling guard, bro. You and know, it's Britney Spears for you. <laughs> it your oh man, I did a whole uh, psychoanalysis on her. Ba uh, how bad is it? How bad is covert, covert narcissism, narcissism? And is it more common than people think? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with social media. What do you think about meditation? Is amazing, effect on amazing, 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 amazing. I recommend that to all my clients just in the first, like within the first 10 minutes, regardless of really? what your issue is. Yeah. I'm more of a prayer my, guy. Mindfulness or prayer or even sports to some extent, I think. Um, and I'll explain what I mean. Um, and I'll, I'll answer that question too. But um, mindfulness, okay, so if we talk about depression being a past experience, right, that there's a, um, a focus on the past and anxiety is a focus on the future, mindfulness, meditation is a focus on the present. It allows you to be present in the moment, eliminate the anxiety, eliminate the depression, Yeah. right? And so that's why I think mindfulness can be really good. What was it's your, so, and so prayer is good because how... it does, it serves the same role and sports are good. Yeah. I always recommend team sports because it's not um, an isolationist thing. There's a mindful component that you have to be present in the moment. I don't care how much homework and stuff you have like that. When I go to play soccer, and you get you acknowledged soccer, as an individual. And there's a mastery yeah. skill. So as you get better, your self-esteem starts to improve. And your so, community keeps acknowledging not, you. Not unless to they bench me. They used to yeah, bench that, me. That, that could hurt. Yeah, but you go find another sport that you like. Yeah. But... Um, um, and then obviously there's a um, it's endorphin. It's such release. a little snitch, man. I have to pee. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna line up these next guys. Hard questions only. He, this is not. <clears throat> bro, we can hear you guzzle that piss, bro. What the fuck? You going hard on that? How big is this guy's cock? I told you I had a twin brother, bro. You owe me subs for that. Thank you, Taze, by the way. This is so funny because the picture is me and chat in a therapy session. Uh, people like this it's even... Stuff. they. I like the mental health comes up. Yeah. No, no. The funniest part is when uh, the questions are about me and I'm the uh, patient laying down, right? Or whatever they're called. Uh, right, they are they called patient? Everybody's getting free counseling today. Let's go. Yeah. How to deal with body dysmorphia? So that I'm familiar with that, but he has a better take than I do. What kind of body dysmorphia? Um, what kind of body dysmorphia? Yo, get detailed questions or GTFO? Your brother has that high IQ speech pattern like Elon Musk. <laughs> Yo, don't insult him, <laughs> yeah, Elon Musk. <laughs> he thinks for a second or two before he speaks. Yeah, he's no destiny. He's no fucking pseudo intellectual. Uh, your twin should make a twitch. Wait, react to punching you clip. Yeah, I didn't actually punch you. No, we'll react when we're actually was, on camera one day. How I about that? Give, I will quickly say this. I was giving a presentation and it was during COVID. So everything had moved online. So I was in the other room 
No, I actually feel like uh, you, I feel feeling, like you punched you? me. I feel like you abused me, actually. I shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, but I remember he starts yelling, and he. I told him three times that morning, dude. Yeah. Listen, I have a forty. I even po- I even pointed at you. I'm like, hey, I got you, bro. I, yeah, actually, um, I don't know. Um, That's why long streams. That burn I told you him three back. times that morning. Listen, I have a presentation. It's a forty minute long presentation. I'll be in the other room. Don't be too loud or just <clears throat> take it easy. Right? And I wasn't used to COVID and stuff, so. Okay, whatever. No, I wasn't used <laughs> oh, yeah, to yeah, the being things had, things, Yeah, the things had gone online. And this guy starts yelling, what did you yell? Suck my dick, suck my dick. No, cock. Suck me, yeah, something like that. And I was, at the time, I was unmuted because I was giving my presentation and my entire class it? starts laughing. They all start laughing. No way. Yeah. The every, all the little images and they stuff like that. They actually heard it and with then, your, and my professor, on a MacBook? Yeah, yeah, of course. Do you know how loud you're yelling it? I, I'm sure all of our neighbors heard it. Have they heard it and, twice? Yeah. Oh and, my, my and my professor goes, uh, Eden, why don't you take a second to make sure everything is like, okay. And Did I was like, yeah, you? just one second. And I run. And I st- <laughs> <laughs> no way they yeah, said that. Yeah. Um, (laughs) what if if they thought i was actually getting head from a girl (laughs) and i'm like alphaing on this chick Uh, and i was so i've never been that mad at john because that was one of like a very important presentation obviously and i had to come back and finish the presentation and act like it didn't happen and i came back Uh uh-huh were you red i was so like, I was, I was more crazy. <laughs> Imagine you came, back, came back and came wiped back. come off your mouth. <laughs> I, was not, I was giving the present, but um, I come Imagine back you, and I go, sorry. Yeah, I, have, I said, that sorry, class I said, did you finish him off? <laughs> I came back and all I said was, um, "Yo, bro, that's I said, so I have, a, I have a new roommate." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, I've never talked to you about that. I was so ashamed. Yeah, I'm like, never bring I, it I up. Kick this guy's dude, I'm right sweating. I'm, I'm so not ashamed. like I don't get angry. Like, I'm no, not I feel that ashamed. Kind of, that's so I'm not that kind of person. But um, and then my pref- pr- professor pulled me yeah, to the side prof- and said, yeah. "She's like, you know, listen, like, yeah. um, don't live with a streamer." Yeah, she's like, she basically said to me, like, you know, with tell her I make more money than just wait a second. She, no, actually, she runs her own clinic. She has a private practice, so I, I doubt it. But um, she came up to me and she's like, hey, listen, um, you know, with COVID, a lot of counseling is moving online when you graduate, you know, like with this, whatever. Yeah. But if a client were to hear something like that, obviously. And I was like, no, no, I know. No, like, no, no, what no, it no. killed me is if it was once, that's bad. But I clarified. That's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. What you know what me. the funniest thing is? Somebody else had given a presentation. John, quiet as fuck. You know, when I was muted. The <laughs> moment... <laughs> <laughs> the moment I start talking, oh, so like they knew it's your microphone right away. Yeah, of course. I was the only one unmuted. Bro, all you have to do is look at another camera and be like, "What the fuck, bro?" <laughs> no, you can see who's who's like. <laughs> <laughs> it lights it, up. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, it's got the yellow chat. bars. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah. Never, so. <laughs> so it lit up twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was like, bro, that's some like, milk shit, yeah, man. Bro. That's so unlucky. Yeah. Damn. That, I've never been so mad at John in my life. Yeah, you didn't talk to me for two months. Yeah, yeah. Two months, that's the longest I've not been talked to. And then I come and in, yo, and, I, and I come in, and he goes, bro, I'm live. Like, you can't be <laughs> yelling. And yelling. <laughs> yeah, because, dude, I was shocked that you were working. I was like, this is not the time he's at home. <laughs> you know what's weird? I pointed to you. I'm like, bro, I got you, bro. I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm not gonna bother you at work. I pointed you that day. Like, I unbelievable, man. The most unreliable person I've ever met in my life. I did fuck up big time. Yeah, yeah. I don't really apologize though. I don't. I it feel like matter. there's no. It point. doesn't matter. You can't apologize. You actually didn't tell them it's like a streamer, like a comedian or something. Hmm. You didn't tell them it's no, like, no. I said it's a new roommate that I haven't properly vetted. <laughs> like, I didn't. I didn't could know. You, what to could say. you imagine? I was shocked. Could you imagine? And I had to come so... back and give uh, the rest of that thirty-minute presentation. I had to complete the presentation. Did and you crush could, it? No. All I could think about was that uh, nobody is paying attention to this presentation right now. <laughs> it's uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. You know what's? <laughs> that's the most redneck I've ever been in my life, bro. That's like. Yeah, Yo, like, but you know what's funny is um, it's funny now, but no, that's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me in life. To you? Be- oh, that I came in? No, not that you came in. That I like dropped the ball. Yeah, I don't really care that you punched me that much. I told him three times. I told you three times. Yeah. Three times. You know, the whole internet said you can beat me up, and I'm afraid of you. And I, I found that the, the, I, the 
the irony of it all is when I came to you and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And you're like, dude, I'm live. Like, don't, like, you can't be yelling in my mic like that. <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. We Come have on. such different lives. You've never touched a drug in your life. You're so clean. Um, <clears throat> someone's talking about, yeah, that's so embarrassing. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yo, fuck that clip. Are we Tra done? No, 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 we're not. We're not. Okay. This is just stay 20 more minutes. Um, okay. I'll make you tea. Guys, questions in detail. Thoughts on John being dark triad. This is a fucking Yeah, I um Okay, thoughts on me scoring I Machiavellianism, scored... narcissism. No, my Mac my Machiavellianism was <clears throat> so my Machiavellianism my... was low. Okay, here's, or it was here's, lower here's, than we thought. Here's my issue with the dark triad. Ninety percent psychopathy. And don't quote me on this, but I think the dark triad was developed at UBC, so I feel like I should be protecting it. But here's my issue with the dark triad. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, so it's um, uh, psychopathy, Machiavellianism. Can never say that and narcissism. And one more. No, it's a triad. It's three. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> and so the idea is that. People who score on these three traits are more likely to have antisocial Sadism. personality disorder. Sadism is the last one. No, it's not. Okay. It's a triad. It's three. It's a triangle. Okay, because in my score, I scored uh, but that, almost a perfect score in psychopathy. Okay, here's my issue with that. How can you be high psych psychopath? High, how can you score high in psychopathy and Machiavellianism? Not when, Mac. Not Mac. Okay, so Machiavellianism is obviously manipulative. Um, there's a, a political me. component to it. Yeah. So you're planning things, you know, four or five steps ahead of time. Yeah, Psychopathy me. is the exact opposite. It's I feel Are you so, talking yeah, sorry, or am I talking? Sorry, 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 sorry. Is, um, psychopathy is acting on impulse, right? And so it, just in the moment, whatever comes up. So those two are um, antithetical to one another, right? They, they're opposites. So I never understood the dark triad, how you can score in all, high in all three, for example. Yeah, I, I could see, um, I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I just don't see that. As as far as John, um, I, yeah, I would say you'd score high on um, narcissism and psychopathy. I would, yes, I would think you'd score low on Machiavellianism. Yeah. Not low, I think maybe medium. You do plan. Believe it or not, it was uh, um, higher than medium. So you're right about that. Yeah, I'd say fifth. I'd say uh, sixty fifth percentile. Yeah, but yeah? pretty honest guy. Sixty fifth percentile. How the fuck do you know? <clears throat> I can guess. How do you I've know? I've been doing this for a what while. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny that other girl who has is finishing her masters. She guessed the score perfect. She's like, "You're gonna drop all these her. guys." Psychopathy isn't just impulsiveness. No shit, dude. Like lack of remorse. All these other things come up. But what I'm saying is that impulsiveness is a key symptom <clears throat> of psychopathy. Oh, but he got his degree on YouTube. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Uh. They, they, I would go to YouTube for a degree over the schools these days. No, it, it is funny how Jokes. many bad therapists there are on Twitch. Anna, There's over 40 horrible therapists on, on Twitch. Four zero therapists. Yeah. Why are they bad? Um, do you know how they answer questions? You know, I, I, if you reacted to them, it would be the funniest shit. Like they answer questions like, well, it's bad to be a narcissist because it's like, you don't like people? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, out. bro. They get one the, of them has a master's and they talk like that. Get the fuck out. I swear to God, they're nothing like you, dude. Um, Who the fuck? I what does your brother that. think of Dr. K? All right, don't get me banned. Um, I haven't seen too much of his stuff, but obviously there's a... I don't know. It, to I, me, it seems like he's... It's uh, live, live therapy? Yeah, it, from... You know, I don't know how it a is. A lot of chat loves Dr. K, but everyone high, from my uh, high, Discord, super, uh, ev everyone super, from super, my... Super, 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 super unethical what he's doing. Because a lot of the times people that um, come into therapy, and I understand he says it's not therapy, you know, obviously he will say that. But um, a lot of the times people don't know what it is that's bothering them, right? And so it takes a healthcare professional to help uncover that. And for that to be uncovered... And for the person not to have any control over that, that it's a live stream. Um, imagine something comes up, some trauma, and you have a physical reaction to it. Well, which that's is what happens. Case. Everyone starts crying and, and, and exactly. revealing there's, everything. Yeah, there's re there's repressed emotions, there's repressed memories. There's it, it depending. You you might not. You but know, the viewer count goes up. I'm sure it does, but that's it's so unethical. I I would. Um, you could you do something like that live? I would lose my license. I wouldn't be able to practice. That's really, the, especially after what happened with the, the suicide. I think. There was a suicide I, on I, Twitch with Dr. K. It was right. It was right. It was Byron. I met him. 
that's very so, sweet, sweet guy. So so on. I, I'm I'm happy to talk about this kind of stuff. Like just in general, what psychology is, what counseling is, what can be helpful. Just you know, general questions. But yeah. to have somebody on the spot on a live stream, right. and they're uncovering things and they don't know what they're trying to uncover that is the nature of counseling and dr k would know that he knows that better than i do he's a psychiatrist yeah um, his and, argument and would it, be, I, I, don't know. I, I, think, I think his argument would be that uh, he teaches people how to talk about things so he's doing a net good because many people are watching generally speaking so it's, sure, it's kind of like he's speaking, helping everyone except the yeah, person the, on the lot yeah you're sacrificing this person for to to, to help others <clears throat> and i think you, you don't have to sacrifice anybody but w w what if someone, I don't know if it's the death row argument, like wouldn't he, uh, wouldn't the net good of uh, the masses defeat the individuals? What? Wouldn't the net good of masses defeat the... No, because sorry. then you can start to justify killing people off very pragmatically, right? Um, yeah. I think we've run that experiment in World War Two, and... You yeah. know, when you start to now, I, I get it. I, I always get attacked <clears throat> if I say something about Dr. K, but these guys are on your side, so I guess what wow. are they saying? Uh, okay, I don't know. I'm just, I don't, seen, I don't know about Dr. K. I, convert, I know, I've never seen I, anyone convert a chat. I don't know about Dr. K. I'm just telling you, as a therapist, as a healthcare professional, it's so. And the part of it is that it's not like a doctor that you're uncovering like an like an illness. These are mental illnesses that get repressed and that people don't know about. And so in the unraveling. moment, and even if they don't answer the question, I think the chat can they, there's they understand the implication of not answering a question. And so you're very much put on the spot. Doctor K should know that. Um, okay. I don't know. I think it. What you, about, I would lose my license. I, I you know. What so. about what about being vulnerable online? <clears throat> is it better just to turn off the stream and deal with it because? Yeah, trolls use it against you. Sorry? Being vulnerable online, crying and telling your emotions online and having a vulnerable moment online, if, it's okay. usually used against people because of all the trolls and haters in chat. Right? Yeah, like, I, I'm not... Uh, people make memes if, if yeah, someone Yeah, I, I, uh, I would ask, you know, what purpose does that serve? Always. Does it serve a purpose of bringing attention back to yourself? Yeah. Is there a component of that? Yeah. Um, is yeah. there a component of, you know, wanting to get sympathy? That's fine. But I don't think you're, gonna, you're going to get the reaction that you're hoping for from people online. <clears throat> what do you think of John's girlfriend, Cass? So on tw <laughs> I don't know, Twitter, I don't know. her name is Celestial me. Whore. <laughs> uh, did you see what she looked like? She's cute. She's nice. She's sweet. She's awesome. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. right. Anyways, <clears throat> come on, focus, guys. Um, yeah, obviously we have we we, we have uh, yeah different lives. Okay, I'm more unprofessional, I guess. Yeah, we where we connect is that we both is speak intelligence funny. genetic. Uh, well, seeing as I'm way smarter than the guy next to me with a master's degree, I would say, am I adopted? <laughs> uh, <coughs> yo, come on, bro, stay focused. No, no NASA shit, bro. All right. And he punches me for that stuff, so don't. It's just a waste of time. Who wins in a fight? How many? Uh, that question has been asked for like three years. I think like they ask every, every, I've, every, every time I've come on. Yeah. yeah, I get it. I get it. I would ask the same question. Yeah, after yeah. you wake up? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not close the curtain other people. a bit, bro. You keep knocking with the chair and the light keeps fucking yeah, yeah. hitting my heart. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Ask if he sees himself above others. Yes. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell no, the no. truth. Go, tell the no, truth. No, 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 of course not. Of course not. Oh, okay. Oh. No, not, well, let me say this. Not because of my education or training. But I... I oh, so it's yeah. a genetic thing. <laughs> not a genetic thing. You would have got it. All right, okay. Um, yeah. I like red flags. I'm being in. I saw it on Instagram. I was like, I don't mind the red flags. It reminds me of home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think of Hassan Piker? Do you know? Anything? I don't know him. No, no. He. All right, never mind. Um, what do you think of Young Turk TV? <laughs> they were. Oh my! I remember when we were kids. They would always clickbait us. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> They would always clickbait us. They put it like a thumbnail of the thing, and yeah, and, you're and like, then you what come is this on, shit, yeah. bro? and then um, what's the Jake, main guy's name? Jake. Yeah, the ultimate journalist. I mean, yeah. what I fuck. <laughs> you're you're about, tell them that. Tell, you go, you go. Please tell you them. Tell them that. No, you, you tell. tell them that. No, no, you do it better, bro. You're the one who told me about. Basically, this. they were like trying to take themselves very seriously as a news corporation and stuff like that, and um, they posted this video about a, a female or something like that, and the main guy, what's his name? Jane. 
Jink, Jink. Yeah, he goes, he goes up there and like he's giving his two cents or whatever. I don't know if they're trying to run down the clock what it was. And he goes, but I mean, would I fuck her? I yeah, of course, of course, I'd fuck her. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> this is so that? professional. Yeah, it's like yeah, news, but then he gives his opinion. Me and John laugh about that all the time. Yeah, he's yeah. the funniest that guy. Clip is and he's out there fighting Alex. He's like Alex Jones's like left counterpart, yeah, like the like yeah. that uh, that uh, movie uh, Fast and Furious. Yeah. No, it's like where they all fight their yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> What does he think about going in debt for school? You can crush this. Thing. This is a scary one because you you did good. Mm, yeah, you I paid. Got a car I, I paid off my yeah. I paid off my student loans very quickly. But man, does it hurt when you go out there? You're working, and every dollar goes towards paying back your student loans. Our parents, luckily, were in a position where they could pay for our undergrad. So I just did, had to pay did, for uh, my master's. Did, uh, but did you get your whole <clears throat> degree paid? What did you pay for for your my degree? master's? I paid my master's. You paid your whole master's yourself. I paid it off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. what did you get help with? <clears throat> undergrad. Okay. They oh. paid for well part of the undergrad anyway. Oh, so what, what, what were you working? <coughs> what were you working to pay up? How did you pay off your masters if you're studying all the time? After I graduated, I was I was working while I was studying too. So, oh, so I, all the money, little. any extra money I had, would just go towards paying off my paying down my schooling. How to deal with abusive narcissist parents? Is that a thing? Oh, yeah, it is very much a thing. That that is so difficult to answer. Aren't you supposed to fight him? Hmm. Scrap abusive narcissistic parents. That's I will say that's probably a really difficult one because you've probably grown up in that environment your entire life, right? Yeah, so they're stuck. No, so it means you you picked up probably a lot of their habits. They probably have a lot of control over you. <clears throat> they probably can trigger you in ways that nobody else can because it's hitting on those deeper core beliefs. Um, yeah, that that's <clears throat> it's not easily answered. I'd have to sit down and talk about it. Oh, uh, we, we have a guest. Three hundred k in debt. My yeah, her God. name is Mushi. She's a guest on the podcast, and yeah. she's in med school. She's three hundred thousand. Med school, like debt. doctor, like yeah, no. MD. But MD, right? I've destroyed her in every debate. <clears throat> it's hilarious. Three hundred k in debt is a lot of money. But a doctor comes out, and you know, how much does a doctor make? 300k in the u.s they make a ton more because it's oh, private right she's in the u.s so, so you pay it off in a year the way i see it is that you can take on as much debt as your job would pay for you in an annual salary so if you're <clears throat> projected to make 100,000 oh, coming okay, out of yeah. school you can take up to 100,000 in debt right okay, and then live yeah. below your means and pay it off in two years okay. <clears throat> that's um dave Ramsey. and it really wouldn't matter if it takes 10 years to pay it off yeah so doctor yeah. so 300k is a lot of money yes <clears throat> but for a doctor it's not it's still within the annual salary range so, so but wouldn't i i'm worried about um, foreign competition that's uh, outsourced from other countries that come into the u.s uh, yeah, wouldn't that com competition problem. make it really hard to be a doctor no i think there's a lot of demand Okay. Uh, the unskilled jobs, I, I think, know, are the I, ones I, getting Someone in chat right? bitched about that. That's why I'm asking. What do you think about that is worse for women to cheat rather than men to cheat? So I made this argument that men have I the know. ads, <clears throat> have, have the odds stacked against them because of their hormone profile. Yeah. And that a uh, woman, when she loves a man, she just sees him. But a it, man it, always. I, I, as much as I, I want to um, say that, you know, it should be equal, I think that testosterone I, I studied testosterone in it during my undergrad <clears throat> and um, straighten it out yeah. okay um and i studied testosterone and the effects they can have and, and one of them is obviously increased libido is um increased horniness right so I mean, testosterone is insane yeah. i've also i also know people who've um it, like i guess ex-clients now who've taken steroids and drugs Synthetic, and things like yeah. that and the increase in libido and like test just you can't it's correlated it. to yeah. testosterone when they're yeah. <clears throat> when they are taking steroids now, it's extremely high think about it <clears throat> people t will take what it's uh, uh, almost double a human's amount for t or t hormone amount. replacement therapy i took 16 times human amount of testosterone unreal it's yeah so I, i'm That's very familiar about. That's the impulsivity yeah. though but <clears throat> mine was for cattle so it was a poison it was very bad Anyways, uh, and I, I've already seen what it can do. Uh, so what are Eden's so, thoughts so, so, so on e-girls? Do you know what an e-girl is? Yeah, I think so. What is it? I don't know. I don't think you'd want to. What Maybe is this e-girl? Like a, a girl on Twitch. Okay. <coughs> Not any girl on Twitch. It's a certain type. Okay. Yeah, basically, she flirts I, I would, with her chat and yeah. then gives them hope that she's going to bang them and takes all their money. Oh. Uh, 
Do you think that's... Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like it's just girls, another those, form those that girls it's talk about forever. Those girls get mad that I do a gambling sponsor because they're like, gambling is an addictive here's thing. The thing but, 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 here's the thing I've noticed about Twitch. Here's the thing I've noticed about Twitch. It touches on all the things. <clears throat> Damn, man. Um, it touches on all the... the um, so guys will touch on gambling and girls will touch on sex, right? Obviously, that makes sense. Those are um, the most um, immediately gratifying, right? That they're, They tend to be highly addictive. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, I think it makes sense that. But know, for, what, what are guys what, in her chat what, are obsessed with sex? That's why they're in her chat. Yeah, the, the guys is right. who I'm talking about. Okay. But I'm saying from a streamer side, you can't sell sex to your audience. I presume. I tried selling them a, a nipple picture, right? And, and yeah. I, lo I lost followers. Mm. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, ask him how to deal with a family member that is bi <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any experience with this. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, boundaries i think is the most important set up boundaries like john he he tries our parents like when you when you when you're going through shit you like you you'll try our parents you never try, I you don't try our me. dad's phone a long time ago outside yeah, the balcony but it's because you're a spaz too um i took his home phone and i threw it out the balcony uh, mm. uh who is the favorite uncle for the nephew uh I me think. probably you don't see him that much Okay, recently, <clears throat> recently I've worked on my education and a lot improved, bro. It's always these fucking. Uh, I don't. I don't, I don't questions. believe. I don't bro, believe. I'm tired in... of that shit, bro. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Ask the therapy questions while we have him here. Yan, open this. Yeah. Oh, what? Open this. Oh, you need it. Just wanted to see. Oh, maintain. No, it's daytime, so we're gonna drop. It's, <clears throat> it's not nighttime. Uh, would you be okay with your daughter having an OnlyFans? No. Me or, or you? Is this... You. No. I, who would be okay with their daughter having an OnlyFans? 99% of men nowadays. Is it that they're they're okay with it, or is it that they've kind of res they're resigned to it? Well, they wanna they they they, they, they wanna say equal equal rights, do whatever you want, all that. I just I don't think it, like if the idea if the progressive idea is that we um we don't want to value women based on their body. And then we turn around and we support our children and daughters in, in like pursuing those kinds of things. You're sending the wrong message, right? You're reinforcing the idea that your body is the only thing that will give you value and will give you uh, weird, money and income and things like that. And I've seen it with our family friends. Yeah. I've seen like family friends as parents who've done that. And obviously there comes a point where you start to age out and the younger girl comes in and takes her place. And it is devastating because you've built your entire identity around the idea of beauty and things like that. Kim Kardashian is not going to compete with um, Dua Lipa. Just Kim won't. is hotter. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Doesn't matter. Um, it, it, there will come a point where she will stop being. I think she noticed that too. And she's like, I got to move my identity from looks because Kylie's beating me. And she went in and tries trying to become a lawyer now. Okay. <clears throat> And anyways, that my argument technically is the progressive argument, right? That I don't want us, I don't want men in society to support the idea that um, a, a woman's value is um, inherently based on their their looks. I don't think it's good. Identity is another area that I work very closely with. So identity and control. Um, if you build an identity, like I said, around the idea that it's so your body and your bodybuilder, and I had inevitably that dream, I was a broken alcoholic man after that. This is great. Wait over here. Main thing I got out of this. Uh, is if you're feeling down, regain control and establish a routine. And then what's the ending? Analyze your thoughts and try to find the root causes of these thoughts. Yes. And the best way to find the root causes is to ask yourself, is to, first of all, identify those thoughts and ask yourself, what, what would it say about me if this thought were true? Whoa. Right? If this thought that's were scary, true, what is it? It's, it's terrifying. That's why I don't recommend doing it alone. And also I think um, the mind is likely to, uh, resist in some yeah. ways and so maybe a therapist can help push push you along that dimension but ask yourself what does this thought say about me and if that thought were true what does that say, what does that thought say about me you'll usually get down to some sort of core belief that you're unworthy that you're rejected not like, like generally speaking all of us have these kind of uh, could have these kind of negative core beliefs right unworthy and uh you'll be rejected or you'll be isolated or you'll be um Yo, i'm tired with that <clears> fucking <throat> idiot Jeff. dua lipa is albanian that's why you like her more than kim eden i'm a no 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 too. i just I, just as an example no, i mentioned i mentioned i mentioned kylie too i mentioned kylie too kim cannot compare with kylie kim is hotter than dua 
No, I don't think so. Personally, okay. I don't well, think so. But whatever, yeah, you know, it's up I'm to sure you. You're the artist. Dua Lipa is gorgeous. Even before I knew she was Albanian, she's I thought cute. she was she's the most cute. beautiful. Yeah, okay, <clears throat> so, but same thing. It doesn't matter. Like these guys get these guys are like Joe Rogan. They get caught up on like the details. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is that Kim Kardashian, if you build an identity around your beauty and your beauty starts to fade as it naturally does with everybody, you lose your identity, and then you have all the self esteem and all the downstream effects that come with from that fucking these guys yeah. pissing guys, me off. No, guys stick to the mind no religion right now you guys are lifting up young men thank you thank you dude. thank you um, thank you when did you subscribe bro <laughs> can you tell if they're <laughs> yeah basically they, <laughs> it's just really if they're if the joker mask looks more uh if it looks more stacked it means it means uh -huh. yo yo you look at this this time is anyone can have this mask it's a two yeah. month one month sub right done three months sub 16 month red well wow. right and then and then look at dead hexer for yeah, yeah 18 yeah. months amazing, amazing. The mask. yeah guys it's my day off i really did not want to be talking about psychology I why to do we self-sabotage when we're at the top i fucking answered this okay then we're not answering it again How i would I'll quickly demotivation and feeling no purpose in life I won't look for something that stimulates you as an answer. What something that stimulates you as an answer. Mean? Well, there's your problem. You're not. You're. You've already rejected certain answers. So, um, maybe that's telling in itself, right? Um, what was the exact question? Maybe we can address it. I'm gonna pee. Don't get baited. How to right? deal with demotivation and feeling no purpose in life? Okay. So here's the thing, guys. We go back to um, the cycle, right? That if. Um, there's a cycle that exists. We, like I said before, <clears throat> it's called the symptom maintenance cycle. So if you have a belief that uh, you have no purpose in life and that you know you're feeling demotivated and depressed and things like that, the likely behavior from those kinds of thoughts is going to be things like this, where you know you don't look for things that stimulate you, you don't look for things that um, give you pleasure or anything like that. And then the consequence of that is that you'll be more depressed and isolated, and then that reinforces the thought, those negative thoughts that you have. So look at that cycle and see where you can break it. Can you change the behavior? No. Can you change the thought? No. Then the consequences will continue to stay the same. The reinforcement will be the same. Um, so as far as um, demon, this is what I said about medications. I don't. I don't. I'm not advocating for medications, but I'm saying there are cases where um, the the depression, the severity, the frequency, the duration are such that you, it simply can't be addressed right so this is where i say maybe medications could be helpful as a short-term option just to get you to a place where you start to develop a routine you're exercising more maybe you have a skill that you're trying to master or you're in school or you're, there's a goal that you're looking for um but w what i'll say about that is that um just with depression something that i've noticed is, has been very helpful for my clients is remember that the way things are now does is not the way that things will continue to be forever right um you have control over that and you can you can make that difference but the it's difficult because with proper physiological illnesses you can take a, a, a you can get like a, a shot or something or you can take an antibiotic or something like that with mental illnesses <clears throat> there's an it's a there's a paradox to it that the best way to motivate yourself is to do things that motivate you right yeah. does that make sense I didn't, that I, you I, you I'm have late. to take. I'm you, late to throw the question. Oh, well. Did they get that receipt? Which one? The one I sent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I sent it. I sent it. <clears throat> I sent it too. Um, I don't know. That one's tough, man. Like I really do feel for you because I've been there. Can and he it's explain how? To how it. Can he explain? Uh, you can push it when I'm talking, dude. Uh, just yeah, I don't want to move anything over. Can he? Uh, can they, he? Uh, get, can get he that explain? guy's information about not feeling motivated, no purpose in life? Maybe I can send him something, or maybe you sure, can send it. Because sure. yeah, know. that hexer, get that, uh, get that schmuck in here. Okay, yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, find just, it. I'll find can, a resource to, say to, to help someone. You out. Just grab that guy's info. Where, where is it? Can you find him? Can you find him? Because I feel moderators like... will do it. You, okay, but our, I don't know which. They are person. our servants. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But I, I have something, John. I'll send it to you. You send it to him. See, you Dead Hexer doesn't know. Him. He said who? Yeah. It's so the guy asking about no purpose in life and feeling demotivated. That's a very difficult place to be, I think. Uh -huh. But there are things that I think could help. Can you explain how psych drugs, I'm guessing, uh, what is it, like psychedelics, can cause suicidal ideations 
Is it something Big Pharma doesn't care about these days? Yeah. Do, we, uh, do, you, do you guys not... talk about psychedelics? <clears throat> I think... Okay, so I have a really weird take on this that um, I don't think that um, we're a society that hates... Um, that like doesn't like mind-altering drugs. We just don't like illegal mind-altering drugs. But, you know, there's a tradition and a culture in the U.S. of taking mind-altering drugs like SSRIs in cases where they're not required. You know, up to like... I've, you know... Uh, I I've, I know people who take them up to 150, 200 milligrams of some sort of like I, sertraline I, or something like I, that. I read something that most even prescribed so drugs it's, are it's overtaken societal. and they lie about it. Yeah, they overtake. They it's it's scary, man. Like I, I've I've heard like horror stories about like the client will go in with like a mild issue, like you know exog like some something that has a um. um that it requires problem solving component rather than something else. And the psychiatrist will just immediately jump to SSRIs um, or antidepressants or whatever. That scares me. Okay, Ultra, that's stupid. We're not answering that. <clears throat> Do you have coffee or something? I'm... Uh, I have a pre workout if you want. No, no, that's okay. Uh, you guys, grill of mind, use code John, get 10% off. I have been using that, by the way. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. Ask Eden what he does to stay active. Well, think... Why don't you get timed out for no, fucking no, no fuck that this. stupid question, bro. I'll answer. You're fucking pissing me off, bro. So I'm so not, soccer no, and kickboxing. Soccer anymore. and You're kickboxing. Yeah, off. and I'm actually phenomenal. Like uh, soccer, indoor soccer. Yesterday, um, our team scored 30 goals. I had 17 of them. So <clears throat> over three games, we played a 10. Yeah, just don't crack any light. How many of these people do you recognize, John, from like uh, years ago? A lot of them, believe it or not. Wow, they stuck by. Yeah, and this gifter icon means they give a lot of money. So if mm. they have a gifter icon, ignore everyone else. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're welcome. What I for a few years <clears throat> I read everyone's question and it wasted so much. Time. I had this idea for for John to like take like um, psych tests as a as for his stream. I think it'd be so funny because John doesn't give a fuck. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start timing out the stupid question. How extensive? How extensive does a routine have to be? Do you have I, to plan on your whole day? No, no, no. Start with <clears> one <throat> add-on. Yeah, exactly. So I, I would say um, you start off with something that you're comfortable with, maybe just incorporating a, a proper sleep schedule, um, and then you work your way up to adding gym. You work your way up to adding. I'm I'm of the mindset you should have something social to do every day. You should be communicating with people on on a daily basis. So adding that um, as much as you can. Yeah. How do uh, I deal with high. how do I deal with being too based? I guess he's <clears> saying too <throat> tradcon, like traditionally conservative for social values. Turns women uh, off. Turns should women I off. Lie about should my I lie about my beliefs? Never lie. Okay, you... here's the thing. So in, in psychology, something that I, I that comes up almost, I will say ninety percent of <clears throat> situations that come up. Um, shut the fuck up when I'm talking, sorry, man. Like sorry, I, sorry. I I I'm trying to think of what I'm. I I'm apologize. Saying. Can I give you a kiss? Look, he's interrupting Can me I give again. You a kiss? No. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. I forgot. Um, fuck. Oh, um, yeah, the the Chad Con. Um, what was the question exactly? Fuck. What's wrong? Where'd he go? Where is he? How to deal with being too based turns women off. Should I lie about my beliefs? So this is what we would call in counseling and in, in psychology, um, dichotomous thinking or black and white thinking or, or all or nothing thinking, right? That, um, there's a temptation to go towards one extreme or another because there's an element of control there, right? So, um, you know, we talk about control being a good thing. It can uh, end up being um, hurtful as well uh, in these kinds of cases where um, you might be uncomfortable with some uncertainty, with some vagueness, nuance, things like that, which is completely normal. I think um, uncertainty is tied to anxiety, obviously. But um, remove the anxiety component get comfortable with the fact that there is a gray zone. It's not all black and white. How do you remove it? Hmm. Habit? Uh, yeah, I think a part of it is undoing uh, sort of bad habits. Um, as far as the, the black and white thinking, the, the thing that has been most helpful for my clients is um, knowing that these exist. They're what we would call cognitive biases. And then I ask my clients when they have thoughts, when they have, okay, in this guy's case, when he says things to women that turn them off, I'm sure he has an idea about what he says that, that probably turn them off. Write that thought down and see if it, if you would apply the black or white thinking. Is it 
too much to one side have you considered the opposite side of it um but yeah so just understanding that there are cognitive biases so dichotomous thinking is one mind reading is another one that we probably all do we, we assume we know what people are thinking catastrophizing generalizing all these things right maximizing negative qualities about ourselves and positive qualities about others and minimizing um positive qualities about ourselves um and and uh negative qualities about others so i so i usually just send the entire cognitive biases chart and then i ask my clients to whatever negative thoughts they have if they can label the thought to a co cognitive bias, bias. Yeah. whoever's not typing in chat a question is a goddamn pedophile at <laughs> me okay um, what do you think uh, Adderall for fixing behavior? I mean, if you have a this dopamine deficiency, maybe? Dopamine? It's phenylthymine. Oh, right, right. Um, yeah. um, I think dopamine is the, the downstream effect that it ends up having. But um, I, know, I, have, I know a lot of people who've really benefited from it, but it is an amphetamine at the end of the day. So there are, you know, um, side effects as far as like losing weight, loss of appetite. Um, hair loss i think is another one for, for amphetamine, amphetamine yeah. use yeah which I, i'm you know could be damaging to your self-esteem i don't know but i think yeah if you need it i know some people who do amazing with it and and are absolute shit without it so uh eden what do you think of john selling drugs for a long time no comment okay uh go keep asking guys does stress cause... All right, shut the fuck up. Why are... <laughs> cause white hair. By the way... That's it. A white hair is a dying cell. That's all it means, okay? Uh, is the DNA dying, okay? See, see, John has... I think, John, if I were to, like, say a couple of things you could benefit from, dichotomous thinking. Your thinking is so black and white. You can't entertain anything in between. Because you know what's in nuance? Why? Well, let me ask you why. I'm not a why have you here? libtard. The life, life is pretty simple. Hmm. You look at even Freud, it, Young, all of them agree. Is it just? Is it because it's just easier? Is it because it's easier to just move to a black position or a white position? No, it's and not... because only <clears throat> only women live in nuance. Men live in rigid thinking. Yeah, but rigid rigidity isn't always good. I think. Men should It means you're not flexible. Their, it means you're, you men can't adapt. cry in front of their uh, wives. That's a rigid thought. Mm, no, I, I don't agree. Okay, well, then you're a cuck. Um, I think you're denying an entire aspect of your identity if you're ignoring no, your emotions. No, she's supposed to see you as a rock, believe it or not. She's I, I think there is value in that. I think a, a lot of like therapists, you know, a client comes in and they're sort of at the end of their rope, right? They're com feeling completely hopeless and they show up and the therapist is being overly like, oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. I can't even, mm. I would not want that. My, like, I'm on my last, like, you know, I don't know who else to turn to. And I go over there and I find this non-confident therapist You're telling me like, to I, I, <coughs> no, I'm and saying if you go to see a healthcare professional, I'd want them to be confident in what they're doing. And that's why I'm sad to hear that all these therapists on Twitch are that shitty well most of them get that's no crushing abuse. that's crushing imagine turning to a counselor knowing that they're your last chance and they completely fuck it up yeah, yeah. and then they think that that's not a, i have a theory them. that like most therapists suck because yeah 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 my ex correctness. yeah my experience with my own personal counseling was... yeah chris shut the fuck up bro. uh younger freud oh shit freud no, always freud same Freud turned out to be right about a lot of it. it's so funny in my undergrad they shit on Freud like they teach you it's like why are you teaching us Freud if you're if you're just gonna shit on him when I went to grad school he is the most important person he's like the father of psychology obviously but um mm. it's so crazy how they just do like a 180 it's like it's almost like undergrad it's like they're placating you like yeah. oh yeah, yeah no 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 he sucks but, because he had like you know sexist beliefs and stuff like that yeah. in graduate school they're like no no he's like he know he knew his shit um, like no who would deny that we have unconscious motivations today yeah. nobody that's freud yeah <clears throat> is it possible to get a good therapist without having any trauma well who's he asking for the therapist or himself i don't get it why wouldn't you be able to get think, a good therapist i don't think you need to be going through trauma to, no, to get a therapist definitely not yeah. and good therapists don't just I, I, are they implying that good therapists deal only with trauma i don't know is isolation solitude necessary 
necessarily, necessarily a bad thing because the way I live, Schopenhauer says, lock yourself in this room and become a master, right? But then you, you, we are meant to be social. But men are antisocial, right? No, I'm I'm the mental health side of things. I think you can you can do everything, and I think we get a lot of motivation from other people. Also, we're social beings. Like, why are you denying that aspect of yourself? Yeah. What aspect of your upbringing was isolationist? The part where I made a lot of money. Of your upbringing. Upbringing? Oh, uh, no. From age zero to whatever no, eighteen. Zero. zero. Uh, I was what? never alone. You come out and you. you you breastfeed almost immediately. Yeah, you're never. You're yeah, literally exactly. attached to somebody, and you're just gonna deny that to be because you're. I get more subscriptions alone. Uh, what does your bro think about the increasing issue of corporate psychologists involved in game development that contribute contribute oh, to gaming addiction? That's such Talk a about question. gaming addiction on Twitch. That's oh, such a good fuck. question. <clears throat> Daytime television. Mm. That's incredible. That's such a good question. I hadn't thought about it. Wow. I didn't, I didn't even think Obviously about that. unethical, legal, but unethical, immoral, I think. Um, I think but a, but a, I'm of the mindset that you don't, you know, remove... It, it, look, if somebody's afraid to get on an elevator, for example, you don't remove the elevator. You make the person comfortable enough with taking that elevator. Hmm. So in this case, you know, you can't remove the corporate psychologists and the corporations from you know, um, appealing to people's addictive um, tendencies yeah. or that tendency that they have to game or to whatever the case may be. What I would say is how do we teach people the proper coping mechanism skills and self-care routines that get them away from seeing gaming as an, as an escape or as a coping mechanism? Okay. Guys, good questions only. That's a really good question, though. Yeah, that was a good one. Props to you, bro. Cuck John Zirka always saying he got rich in isolation when he always had an online... What? An online army, army of yes, yes men. <laughs> I'll tell you something, bystander. Let me, and your name is bystander because you've been a bystander your whole life, you little bitch. That's a way better question. Look at this little bitch. Look at this little bitch. Hey, bystander, join the VC right now. Join VC right now, you fucking pussy. At 60 seconds, join VC, talk to me. I want to hear a shaky pussy-ass little voice or I'm banning you. Go up, go up. That guy had a really good question. So this is what he actually meant. I'm asking if a therapist can be good at his job if they never, if they never experienced any trauma. Of what course they can. Of course. They're just, they get to apply. I don't know, man. Lived experience is important. No, no, it's but super of important. course, if it's they know super, what they're talking about, they can run. There's what we would call like a, a psychic reality, like an internal psychic reality that they somebody with that, without that lived experience just cannot tap into. They don't have trauma by its definition is something that is um, uh, life changing. Yeah. Literally all of the th all. Okay, so in psychology, you know, uh, as throughout your development, you um, you go through different stages Definitely. where you learn about um, where you learn about like sort of autonomy, justice, um, the way the world works, all these things. Trauma. Okay, stop. Trauma causes you to drop all of that it basically you're dropping your entire life experiences and you're starting from beginning but you're starting from a beginning that's been tainted by this traumatic experience so um if, can you pull it up I, i'm, I'm having some trouble just on the internet erickson's no, um, no 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 we don't do that shit keep going ah fuck what are they there's certain um like hurdles that you go through as you develop no, um, but I'm saying, and, I'm saying but but so the reason why I'm through, saying that I'm is saying, that is that by def by definition. Through, I'm sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. No, go no, ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Tell no, us, no, tell you, us what you were gonna say. No, 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 tell no, us. No. Give us. Give no, us. No, your, no. I'm a gentleman. Go ahead. It's too late. Just uh, say it. Ladies first. Just go say ahead. it now. Go no, no, tell us what this magical thought was that you needed to interrupt. I forgot. I had an intrusive thought. That's a bit of a delay. I, I don't know what I was saying. I forgot. Be his Jamie. Okay. Damn. Come on, man. Um, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Trust versus mistrust. Autonomy, shame, and doubt. Initiative versus guilt. These ones obviously very like uh, specific. But all those um, areas that are developed throughout your upbringing and your entire life are basically removed once something traumatic has happened and you're having to re 
um, relearn all of those. But now you're learning the negative sides of them. Yeah. And so that idea that somebody without who hasn't experienced something to that extent could relate and be able to help you out is, I think, in, in, it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm skeptical. Um, <clears throat> what is stonewalling in a relationship and how abusive is it? Do you know what that is? Stonewalling. I don't yeah, believe in it. Stonewalling is uh, uh, basically... <coughs> I do know I do know what it is, but... Um, yeah, it's a little cringe. Let's just forget this one. Yeah, the only thing with stonewalling and gaslighting and these kinds of things is like they are symptomatic of an argument, right? They do come up in arguments. You can't just say, oh, just don't gaslight me in an argument. Like they, if you're fighting, that's what is going to come up. Yeah. Ask yourself why the fight is happening in the first place, right? Oh, because wow. symptoms of the fight are that there's gaslighting and stonewalling component uh, um, oh, wow. involved, in inherent in it. So you can't just remove. It's like I'm not going to stonewall you, but I'm, we're going to continue to fight. Right, because so you're, you're either in a defensive mode in the arguments. So of course, you, you, yeah. By nature, the yeah, argument. Of okay. So, um, <laughs> so, Anna, so Anna's an idiot. I'm kidding. Um, I, I just think it's ridiculous. Like it's like saying, um, um, how do how can I um, um like it's, I, like, it's take, like saying like I want to like be I want to take roids without side effects. E exactly. Hilarious. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Roids being the fight and the side yeah. effects being yeah, the stonewalling. So just stop. Like figure out what the root of the the fight do you, is. Do you think leaving someone on red is emotional abuse? No. No, I don't. What about, so. do you know love bombing? I do that a lot. I don't know what that is. Where I, hey, babe, I love you. Blah, 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 blah. I, I text them a lot and then I ghost them for a week. Hmm. It's like manipulative and stuff like that. But um, I, would, I would, I would, I would, again, I wouldn't remove these people. I would uh, increase people's um, uh, resilience against it. That's, oh, wow. that would be the approach that I take. So, right? so, so. Oh, so wow. it doesn't so you, affect you. So you would yeah. actually see the sensitive people as needing the cure, whereas the people doing that. No, no, I, both sides. I think, okay. yeah. You, I, why are you being manipulative like that? I would address oh, okay. that that component too. But if my client comes in and says that somebody like ghosted them and you know love bombed mm -hmm. them or, or whatever the case is, I wouldn't say, oh, how do we um, prevent all humans from ever doing that to you again? Yeah. I would say, um, why is it that it had such an emotional reaction for you? How do we remove that component? Where is it coming from? Did. Should therapy be a thing that all people do, or is it just for people who have had a bad period or mental issue? Um, hmm. Honestly, there's so much. Um, hmm. Let's look that's at tough. Let's, that's, no, 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 that's, no, no, no. This is an easy one. Let's look at businessmen. They go see therapists. They yeah. do better. Yeah, but then they're like, like you're. Everyone can benefit from yes, a but, professional. What the fuck? Of course, but you're clogging up the system for people who. Oh, who need it. So, oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait again, a minute. Wait a minute. Say, this is, say, say that again. Put one of these. Okay, on. so say that again. You're what? Clogging what? You, you're blocking the system for people who might actually need it. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason why I say that is because we work with a lot of clients up north where there's you know up to one Kill year long wait list to see therapists, and if. Um, rich people are just able to bypass that or like high socioeconomic status people are just able to bypass that and they you know um um what it, what's the best word clog is not the word like block yeah clog they, they understand yeah. clog guys it's clog, like when clog. you clog the toilet after playing valorant yeah. and counter strike all day so i mean clog. obviously if you have an issue you should go but if you're just going to see a counselor like just for the sake of going to see a counselor because it's in and trendy right now i think that could have some help i think that could be useful because a, a lot of people would um, oh, because there are wait lists. And there, shit. yeah, in Vancouver, right. in, in Vancouver that. and in BC especially. I've never thought yeah. of that. Wow. Uh, that's the only concern that I have. That maybe the you know um, poor people maybe aren't getting access to it. Okay, I'm banning you, bro. The NFT guy, I'm banning you. Okay, and I never unban. Should a therapist's salary be tied to a person's wealth? What does that mean? That, just a stupid question. How do you get more social interaction when you are too anxious to go outside? Um, support groups with other people who are socially anxious. That is so helpful. The, the same way addicts um, or people who are addicted go to Alcoholics Anonymous um, or Addicts Anonymous. I know those exist now too. Um, you know the other people who can relate with your problem so that if you do something that isn't like socially mm, it's socially kind of you know awkward or something like that they would all understand that would be the first place to start the goal i guess would be to get to a place where you could you know do it um yeah you could do it with with other groups of, of people but that's probably the best way to start you start with your own 
do you get exhausted from listening to other people's problems all day? No, I, when I worked in insurance just as a part-time, that exhausted me because I felt like I wasn't doing anything. I had no, my work had no meaning, no purpose. I was doing something very monotonous and repetitive daily. Um, and I couldn't wait to graduate. And um, no, I love, I love my job. I love my, to be able to sit there and, and work on problems and identify where things come from. Um, I'm, I'm big on, too, yeah. it's rewarding. Yeah. Um, I'm big on cause and effect. So that psychology is very much rooted in that, that, you know, um, current um issues you, you people are, even send you from, gifts and stuff they love not you. really i'm not i don't really accept gifts it's unethical but yeah but they, but they try they to smile, yeah, 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 yeah. They, oh they my god you. i love my clients they're like your babies <clears throat> yeah how do you get rid of intrusive thoughts and bad outcome thinking sounds like you're a pussy bro In, oh, sorry, I spaced out. Intrusive thoughts, um, uh, exposure and response prevention uh, therapy is the best way for that. Um, so in, intrusive thoughts, it would depend on what kind of intrusive thoughts. The whole idea behind exposure and response prevention therapy is that there's an element of exposure. Um, so you allow yourself to have these thoughts and whatever behavioral rituals you engage in to remove the thoughts. And they're not always behavioral. Sometimes, you know, um, they're mental as well. But whatever rituals you engage in to alleviate that anxiety related to that thought, in other words, the compulsion in, in OCD, um, you don't do them. That's the response prevention side of it. Wow. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to just and, say that and, you're the best therapist on any I platform I've ever seen. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? <laughs> I caught you when you just got out of bed. This yeah, is no, I just got home. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, you're tired. You're <clears throat> tired, right? Yeah. No, I was, out, I was out all night. No, bro, I'm going to show you what therapists look like on YouTube and Twitch. Bro, they suck and they bear... A lot of them don't even do it live. They prepare on YouTube. Mm. It's fucking weird. Um, any thoughts on Dr. K? Bro, we, we don't talk about Dr. K. It's Dr. Z in this bit. Not a doctor. But you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yo, I'm going to tell you right now, bro. This, this, my, my twin brother is way... Listen, listen. My twin brother is the smartest man I've ever met. He tweaked a few... A few things in my brain, and I became the fucking highest paid affiliate listener to this man. This man cuts no corners. This man leaves no stone unturned. He's professional everywhere. He's got a girlfriend that's a professional. He's got a life that's professional. He's got friends and a social life. He's one of the best football players out here. He's an MMA fighter. And he does everything, man. And and all all i want to say is um i still feel smarter than him for some reason you don't need that you don't know no. all right bring us a picture of yourself what's the best advice you've taken from him um i think the best thing he's ever told me was um um i think when he taps into my self destructive behavior I think that really helped me. Uh, basically, that uh, I felt like I, I don't deserve, deserve much, so I kept uh, sabotaging myself, and I kept catching bands, and then I stopped catching bands, or legitimate bands, when uh, I started talking to him more. And we, we didn't talk for years when I was a bouncer. We hated each other. Like, we, we barely... Well, we didn't see each other. Not that we hated... Well, we had some fights, but... Uh, when I when I when when you know when I got adopted by you guys, that's when I had more time to see him, and he really helped me out. Is he the same height as you? He's six three. I'm a little tall. I'm a little taller, uh, and he's lean, small. Like he's more like a Ronaldo type. I'm more like NFL, or, or uh, yeah. So, uh, get a picture of you. How many? Send me a few pictures. I'll pick my favorite one. Who wins in sparring? You or we sparred a lot. He, I think you. You've beaten me every time. The reach is ridiculous. I can't. Like, by the time I get to his chin, his fist is halfway through my head. Yeah. It's just it is reach. unfair. It's Biomechanically, it's unfair. Yeah. I remember once I hit him, and I was so shocked that I, like, froze. I was like, wow, did I actually hit him? Yeah. Also, the amount of weight I move compared to you is, like, it's unfair. It's way unfair. Yeah, 60 pounds. We're six weight classes apart. Right well, how now. much are you weighing right now? Uh, 180. Or what? 185. 185, probably. Yeah. Yeah, six three one eighty. No, you do better in the later three. rounds for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because when my, I start gassing, my um, uh, my fitness is unreal. Elite. Uh, who has bigger cock? Um, 
on roids i think i did no, uh, okay ready quite do wait do you guys want an ambience or any music in the background do uh maybe uh jazz mm. what do you want to hear sure put that thing can in you your play fucking... proper can you play proper music like, lo-fi um, yeah no 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 not not low but no lyrics because that shit fucks with them. wait what does this mean 185 it's six foot three Man, I was watching um uh like Trump videos. How that was I can't believe that even it feels like Dude, I watched him though. going to sumo. Like it's uh -huh. have you seen that? Where he goes to the sumo thing? No, I haven't. It was crazy how much respect they give him more so than their own um what Prime Minister J Japan. <laughs> yeah. I know, but they do sumo everywhere. Like the it's insane how now much they, respect. Now sumo's a sport everywhere. Um yeah. true, yeah, there are a lot of white guys. But over there. Uh, is the music good or bad in the background? Do you like the music? like 616. Do you deal with male and female clients? What tends to be the most common issue between the yes, two? Yes, the um, both. Um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't. I don't want to answer that question. But yeah, I deal with both. Okay, because I just leave for my clients. I... Okay. All right. Yeah, because it's a privacy. Okay. Is no, it... it's there's obviously it's, that's not an issue, but I don't know. I... How important is your environment, your home, the people you hang with? I mean, you're answering your own shit here, bro. Would you like your thoughts? What do you think? Home, what do you environment? Think? I think 99%. Um, like it, it, definitely your home changes. If I chill with drug dealers, mm. I'm a drug dealer. If I chill mm. with streamers, I'm collabing and growing. Mm. So yeah, it's like, it's yeah. Pretty yeah I agree. Job. I agree. Yeah. Who you hang out with is most important. How do you find a good girl nowadays? Shit, I don't know, man. Don't you have to donate a thousand dollars to her? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Like that's, I, I don't know. OCD. How do you help someone with OCD? I I talked about this uh, exposure and response prevention. So expose them to the uh, obsessions, the O and OCD, which are the. And I'm not being like offensive or anything like that. That's the technical term that they're obsessive thoughts mm -hmm. um so expose them to the uh thoughts instead of them trying to avoid them and then whatever compulsions they have so whatever behavioral ritual they have to eliminate the anxiety associated with that obsessive um thought um, remove that so mm -hmm. if the obsessive thought for example is um the house will burn down and the compulsion is to you know check the stove you know very frequently mm -hmm. um we allow um we allow those thoughts to exist without checking the stove, for example. Mm -hmm. If you can take the weight away from... Um, because every time you act on that, you reinforce the idea that it's a potential uh, possibility and you help strengthen that association. So you're actually only making it worse for yourself. You're making it a very significant, uh, concerning, anxiety-provoking issue. So once you remove that, mm -hmm. you start to reinforce opposite associations. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's... that's um, that's is that. John Zirka more intelligent than he sounds? <clears throat> mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> does Adderall help ADHD or is that cap? Uh, no, it does. It helps so much. Yeah. It helps so much. I've seen so many people. Um, still, though, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm, Thoughts on twin theory? Hmm. Twin tower? <laughs> when did you stop is. growing, John Zirka? Um, I probably when I pulled out of your mouth. <laughs> If you, I hate that guy, bro. Did the drugs you took make you taller? I no, think so, but that's that's, uh, that's pseudoscience. Yeah, that's, yeah, a lot of people yeah. do that. Unless it's like uh, if you take aromatized inhibitors or estrogen blockers during puberty. Really, you can get... yes, because of the overflow in your. Don't you think? Test. Don't you think some like very rich people who are insecure? Oh, on right? TikTok, t teenagers are now hurting themselves at seventeen, blocking estrogen, so there there's uh, more free flow testosterone for them. And they are growing taller, <laughs> and it's it's a big pandemic. It's a pandemic. You have now. some water. Um, water. Are you a religious person? No. Trump gave it to his kid. Okay. Okay, I'm out. Second. I'm out. No, no, no. Chill, chill, chill. Why'd you turn <clears> that <throat> light on, bro? Doesn't that hurt? Turn it off. Huh? Turn off. No, uh, when I get up. I'm... I'll do it. Uh, guys, keep asking questions. High value podcast right here. Make sure we get the gifters going. 
because I'm I'm so holding him down. Christmas tree and like I will, I will, I will, I will. All right. It's my day off stream. Do I? I what, what do you want me to do? Where are you going? <clears throat> I'm paying you, bro. I'll pay you for it. Just stay. So, how come the red ones are the? Hmm? Oh, they're because they're made out to you specifically. Like that's why they're red. Well, they just want you to read it. Good idea they want to take screenshots of every text combo that has happened during a hookup. Um, what does that mean? That leads to a hookup. I feel like these days, kind of right, Le just legally. Mm, stupid question. Guys, the societal questions are for me, but come on, let's do brain questions, okay? What football team do you support? I have a few teams, like soccer teams. Um, and I know people are going to hate me for this, but um, um, I've always loved um, uh, Paris Saint-Germain, like PSG. Um, I love Manchester City just because the way they play is so much fun to watch. Like, oh my God, Pep, like the best. Mm -hmm. um, and I always like Tottenham too, but... Not so much anymore. I, I like Manchester United too, but god damn, man. 4 1 loss to Watford. You know Watford? Like, I don't watch just, cuck sports, bro. I don't know. That's I a big deal. With Tom. Ronaldo, like, I don't I know. I watch MMA, bro. I, I'm only watching um, Premier League again because of um, Ronaldo returning. So, uh, What's your relationship with your parents? Good. <laughs> good. We, I, luckily, I mean, Albanians have good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. luckily. Yeah. All right. Um, PSG cuck team in a cuck sport. Okay, true. I think this is, a true, this is a big question. Let's read this whole thing. <clears throat> the question has to be punctuated. So can you not do your mumble rap? Me? Yeah. Like you, Sorry, yeah. The question's so, got to be louder so, than the answer. I'm so tired. Okay, you read it though. It's my, I'm still sick. So. Oh my God. Okay. I had issues deeply with my family and sev it severely affected my life and forced me to drop out. I'm sorry to hear that. During university, to look after my mother, I was extremely depressed. Eventually, this contributed for on four months now. And I have social anxiety and haven't left my house in months. This is relatable to me mm -hmm. right now. When, do I, when I do, I have panic attacks and feel hopeless at home. Okay. Mm, yeah. This sounds big. Yeah. That, yeah, it sounds very difficult. Um, it sounds difficult because obviously there's a... A component of having to take care of your mother right so it's not that it's entirely internal maybe there maybe that aspect of it is out of your control um and so there's you know um maybe <laughs> it did force you to have to, to stay home and it contributed to everything else as far as the panic attacks first of all remember that um they're very scary but they're not dangerous um so the one thing that i always push for is um like breathing exercises if you can regulate your heart rate you can activate the um uh, what is it called uh, peripheral nervous system so that part of your nervous system which is responsible for like rest and digest kind of thing so control your breathing specifically do four seven eight breathing inhale for four seconds exhale or hold for seven and exhale for eight seconds that will immediately have downstream effects on the other areas um, the other thing with with panic and it's attacks, another control aspect. it's a control aspect. Control. Exactly. Yeah, control. there you go. Now you're getting it. Yeah, right? yeah see learning. control yeah. plays into everything. Yeah, um, which is so it's, cool. It's like take responsibility. Of yeah, what's happening. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Hmm. There's more to it. He the said, social anxiety, obviously, like the way we would treat it is through exposure. You have to sort of put yourself out there. Steps. But ask yourself what the worst case scenario is. Right. What's the worst case scenario of an, uh, an encounter being awkward? Mm -hmm. That they think you're an awkward person? Yeah. Is that the worst case scenario? Or what is it? And then once you have that worst case scenario, ask yourself um, what you feel it says about you. Maybe it's I, I don't obviously I don't know your situation, but maybe there's a validation component that your self worth is tied to um, other people. So if other people perceive you to be awkward, then it's a it's not that they just perceive you to be awkward. It's that there's mm -hmm. um, there's an implication that that um, um, you have no self worth and that you'll be isolated and um, rejected and all these things. So obviously, I would recommend in your case. Obviously, that sounds like a lot of issues and having to deal with. Um, you know, an issue with your mom, yeah. like that's so crushing. I, I would talk to a counselor. Mm. However, and, uh, that is admirable. And the counselor is sort of a controlled experience as far as the social anxiety is concerned, right? I, I, you can I, test certain I things. I think also you got to look at it from the lens of how admirable is it <clears> that <throat> the bad cards he's been dealt in life is to take care of his mom. That's really admirable. That's a great yeah. journey. Yeah. 
right? That is a powerful that, journey. That there. is more meaning than playing fucking Minecraft all day and shit. Yeah, one hundred percent. I love that. You know? And also, like like I said before, just remind yourself that things won't always be like this. That you know the way things are right now is not the way that things will be in the future. I'm very big on the idea of like the compound effect. So the idea that you make small incremental changes mm -hmm. and uh, gradually, momentum. and it's not that the momentum just builds. It's not that you're just improving. It's that each success mm -hmm. capitalizes on the previous successes, right? right? So it's like compounded when interest. It rains, that it's pours. yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Not really. Like you're building on something that's already been built to. So you add one floor, but you're not on the first floor anymore. Now you're on the second floor. Yeah. And you add a floor to that, you're not on the second floor, you're on the third. So it just yeah. like it, they add on top of each other. Yeah. So start making small incremental changes with aspects of your life that, um, and, and ask yourself questions about why your self-worth is tied to um, or what, or here, maybe the best way to ask this question is to ask yourself, um, what does it mean? Um, what gives somebody self-worth and what gives you self-worth? What is it that makes somebody worthy in your eyes? Is it the validation of other people that other people tell them that they have worth? I think that could be a good question to, to ask yourself. Great. <clears throat> How to get over insecurity. But, but definitely for that last guy, I would say to talk to a counselor. I think they can. Yeah, they he can definitely, definitely should see someone. You know, and investing in mental health is better than much. Anything uh, and this do. is what I say with the, life needs to go yeah. on. You better put money into it. How to get uh, or uh, check your health benefits if you're working. Right, right, man. I even say go in there's, debt for your mental health. Who gives a fuck? Of course, of course. Yeah. But but there's a lot of um, places that offer um, like uh, counseling. I know here in Vancouver, UBC offers free counseling. Okay. Free counseling. It's just that it's there's like long the wait lists for it. I, yeah, I don't know what it's like in the U.S., but I imagine there's similar programs that offer free counseling um, mm -hmm. as, a, as a healthcare thing, as a charitable thing. Um, so definitely look around if, if money is an issue for you. Okay. A.O. Vonsky <clears throat> says, how to get over insecurity about things you literally can't change. Uh, you like, answered uh, your own question like there, what? bro. Like what? You how, be to over get over you, how do you get over insecurity? How do you get over the sun coming up every uh, morning, bro? Okay, you can't change okay. it. I, I would ask you why um, um, why value is tied to um, this specific thing that you can't change, right? So you get to define what success and what um, values um, are important, right? So John, for example, will always define success as income because he does very well income-wise. Yeah. Um, I would define, I wouldn't Which actually define success, but somebody in my position is likely to define success by their education and because was, they have a strong education. Yeah. So find the things that you are proud of right. about yourself and define your success in that way and let other people know. Which is and so base, weird. So is, don't base your insecurity, don't base value around your insecurities, base value around your, your strengths. Mm. Because I think it, mm. to that mm. extent, then other people can't compete and you'll notice that it has a downstream effect on your self-esteem self-efficacy all these other areas it's so weird because when i was broke uh my value was in finances it was uh muscle yeah but that's like an early 20s thing right that like, when you're in like university in that age money yeah. isn't really a problem yeah. and so like it's just about yeah anyways uh dissociative uh eden do you have do you often have clients with did so dissociative identity disorder what used to previously be multiple personality disorder okay um just curious um so i actually haven't had a client like that um yet um so yes inky we're good let's keep this going yen Okay. Um. Uh, okay. It's like. Uh, uh, do you like the no camera thing? I think it flows better. With yeah, me. just because I'm so tired, I, I just want to let my eyes hang. You know, be yeah. ugly for a second. Yeah, same. Uh, opinion. I can't. Uh, Slavo, nah, Gizek. Okay. Uh, How to deal? Better questions, bro. You commies got to bring better shit. How to deal with body dysmorphia? Um, like every time you look in the mirror, you feel like you haven't progressed despite other people noticing that you have. 
I think body as far as like working out. I think you need to stop looking on unrealistic magazines of men and and, and one thousand find athletes that got your body. Right. A lot of water actually <laughs> helped mentally. Yes. No, it's but good. Uh, yeah, sure. Drink drink more water. I've never heard of it helping mentally, but drink more water. I don't know why that. I, I like the idea of you're be... always flushing. I like that. Yeah, idea. yeah, just like flush out. Yeah, but I don't know mentally. The one thing that can fasting. be helpful for so here's one thing that I feel like your viewers could um, benefit say from say fasting. Fasting, sure. But the thing I was gonna say is that um, when you're um, so your eyes are obviously their lenses, right? To some extent, when you're focused on something um, close up, your mind actually perceives that to be a threat because it's something in, in close proximity, um, and so that can actually um, help. Um, that can actually make you more anxious. So people like you, if you're sort of um, on your computer for a long time, if you can go out and you can um, focus on something 20 or 30 feet away, let's say, and and have sort of a panoramic view, the mind actually interprets that as, well, a couple of things, that there is no threat, first of all, that you can kind of focus on on the the background, Mm -hmm. and um, also that there's more space in that, right? So it's a Mm -hmm. more panoramic view. That can actually, apparently it's very good for um, Yeah, anxiety. or even going for a walk, like just looking at yeah, the trees for a walk and not for the sure. fucking yeah. computer yeah, screen. Yeah. Guys, know. it all comes back to control. Take back an element of control over your life. <clears throat> have you ever dealt with dissociation and how do you handle it? I have, yeah. Yeah. Um, That's a scary one. Again, dissociation, I would, uh, uh, it's scary because the more you try to fight it, 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 this is like one of those OCD things. The more you try to fight it, the more strength it gets. Do you know what I mean? That it's like it, it, another aspect of the dissociation. Um, ask yourself, what purpose does this serve? Are things so bad for me right now that my mind is better off dissociating me entirely from that world? Um, and I, I think that could be helpful. Well, I just lost my entire train of thought. Mm, what about this one? No, you guys can. You guys control. I don't care. I'm leaving soon anyway. Sorry, John. When are you coming to help my clients, huh? You yeah, know, I do right. your job, you do mine. Uh, didn't I already help them with my interruption? <laughs> <laughs> that was school. Yeah. Uh, that was school. So make sure you yeah, yeah. specify that. It's never happened with clients. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Besides, wow. I, I, so have, an office. Mean, I have an office yeah. now. That makes the story a lot better. Actually. They're just students. I that's why I didn't care. Students and my professor. Uh, logotherapy is very good obviously finding meaning a uh, great book uh, man's search for meaning by victor frankel what was this no the one below Mango? thoughts on victor e frankel and logotherapy i don't give a fuck about that great book he, he's a survivor of the holocaust uh no no but the one on top is a good question uh what does it say where are my classes do you think experiencing more trauma go up do you think experiencing more trauma leads to being less empathetic yes i think I don't know if John has mentioned this because I told him recently and it kind of blew his mind. When we think about trauma, we think of um, schemas. So a schema is basically a, a belief system you have about the world, about the future, the world, about yourself. And when you experience something traumatic, can I have one? Yeah, sure. When you experience something traumatic, um, it disrupts all of your schemas. So any beliefs that you had, um, you know, if you, if you tend to have sort of a health, uh, a healthy mindset, <laughs> you're likely to think that the world is safe and predictable and just. And when something traumatic happens, um, those sort of all go out the window. The world becomes very scary. Uh, it requires hypervigilance because there's an expectation that something else could happen like that. Um, and what was the exact question? Oh, becoming less empathetic. So, yeah, so I think that can make you less empathetic, obviously, because it, it makes you less trusting. Um, it shifts the focus on yourself um, because you now become the the person who requires help the most. So you just don't have that. Um, uh, you're not able to cathect that, what we would say, cathect that mental energy onto external uh, experiences, other individuals. The focus is solely on yourself. This one? What's that? Inst? What's inst? <clears throat> I don't know. In control in itself illusion how isn't oh okay and how come anything concerning control makes sense from a psychological standpoint total bullshit makes eden answer since he's writing a book about it i don't get the question isn't control in itself an, an illusion, illusion. how come anything concerning control makes sense from a psychological standpoint 
What? what the fuck? I don't get this. It's like he's like debating himself. <laughs> <laughs> How come? Uh, Wait, no, I want to answer it. No, this guy's a troll. I'm not writing the book now. In like 10 years. He's got please. 13 messages. He's a fucking <laughs> troll. Look what he talks about. Tons. He's repeating this one. Oh no! If he if he asks that if he yeah if he asks if you can ask that question in a better way that makes sense I'll yeah come back when you're not being stupid bro. Hmm. How do you deal with not having a masculine figure in your life? I feel like this is for you. Um, as a male, I would go about it. um, I would go about it with uh, who do you genuinely admire and want to become like and uh, yeah. maybe pick up on their habits, routine, lifestyle choices and friendships and relationship choices. Um, That's the great thing about the internet and things like that, that you have people oh. there, there. So you have the template, obviously, um, for a masculine figure. And there are people that can um, or there are ways to mimic that. Right. So if yeah. you don't have it in your own personal life, you find it in your community or you find and it. And it's it's only salt. And you pepper. find it you in your role models. You don't become the person. You only add a few. Yeah, yeah. You should course, only of add course, yeah. 5% of Zerka to your day, not 99 of course, yeah. If you're adding 99% of John, that's not even your own identity. I think yeah. developing your own identity can be very good. And you'll go um, to prison. And you'll go to prison. It's like, uh, don't be erratic, bro. Like, it worked out for me, thank God. Why aren't you coming with us to BAMF, John? That's the hold most on, important on, on, question. On. He bailed on that, guys. Okay, go ahead. Um, what specific things qualify as a person to be diagnosed as having bipolar disorder? Okay, so bipolar disorder, there's different ones. Obviously, there's bipolar 1, bipolar 2. Um so bipolar one, which is like the most um, uh, severe of, of the of the um, bipolar disorders, you actually don't even need to have a depressive episode. You just need to have a, a, a manic episode that sufficiently meets the criteria. And uh, a manic episode in this case would be even to the extent of like delusions of grandeur or persecution. Those are the two main ones that come up. Um, extended periods of energy. John, does any of this sound familiar? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it's fine. I'm no. kidding. I'm kidding. Um, uh, so, like, it, it, uh, lots of energy, feeling like there's uh, not feeling like a, a need to sleep or to hydrate or to eat um, or do anything uh, to that effect. So that's bipolar one. Um, that's you have to have a manic episode that meets that criteria, and there are specific criteria based on the uh, DSM five that we could look at. I think you could Google it pretty pretty quickly. Um, Bipolar two uh, would be there has to be a manic uh, a hypomanic episode so not exactly manic it just it falls just below that criteria it actually has its own criteria um, um, because if it's a full manic then it becomes bipolar one but there also has to be a depressive episode if I remember correctly um, and the space between the manic the hypomanic um, hypo meaning just less than. Mm -hmm. um, and the hypomanic episode and the depressive episode, I think they're about three or four months apart, but they can um, alternate more quickly. And then obviously with the depressive, it would be the symptoms that you see in uh, major depressive disorder. With the hypomanic, um, it's manic, manic, but maybe not to an extent of delusion. So there's that heightened energy, that um, lack of a lack of a requirement to sleep or eat um, but not exactly delusions of grandeur or persecution to the extent that they're full-on delusions right that it it's bordering on psychosis wow compare that to the therapist online man you're wow uh i might even do a compare uh highlight reel. do you think trauma can have a positive effect on a person's life and i would have to say <clears throat> fuck yeah but what? sorry go ahead you so what's the question? It's a highlighted genius. Do you think trauma can have a positive effect on a person's life? Yes, I, be I believe that people can sublimate um, their anxieties and their traumatic experiences. Um, and, and by sublimate, it, it's a very like um, esoteric term, but it's basically where you take that. Um, Freud talks about this, right? So you sublimate um, anxious energy or traumatic energy into art or something creative. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the that's the healthiest what we would call defense mechanism. Is traumatic energy usually mania? Sorry, is it like no, mania? not I wouldn't. I don't. There, there isn't a Completely positive connotation. Like mania should not have a positive connotation by any okay. means because it's very destructive. Um, so, yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't add a positive connotation to okay. manic episode. I think that is um, something that would need to be treated. Yeah. What about this one? 
what can I do uh, if I want to be more fun and confident and I know I have to get friends to achieve that but I have no energy or desire to do it on nights before sleep I get motivated but during the day I don't want to do anything I've had this I've been there yeah. at night you get so stoked and yeah. the next day it's just it's a completely different experience um, you should act on um, when you do have the energy set up plans when you've got when yeah. you're motiv motivated and the yeah. next day you have to sort of you've already made that commitment right so yeah. stick to the commitments that you make so there's something in in uh it's a cbt thing i'm not obviously i i do do cbt cognitive behavioral therapy but there's something we would call behavioral activation which is the idea that you're not doing things because you know you're in a mood to do them or you have energy to do them they're obligations so you don't go to the gym because you're in the mood to go to the gym you go to the gym because you have to go to the gym and actually paradoxically by doing that it ends up affecting you in a more positive way so that ends up becoming more of a natural is that everything still behavior goes? yeah yeah oh. it's just it's ironic because depression obviously the first thing that goes is motivation and yeah. all the things that you enjoy doing so, so going through we're asking you to reverse that. Gym, is that good enough <clears throat> yeah sometimes you go take attendance it happens you can't be black and white about it and think that every gym workout mm -hmm. is going to be amazing i used to tell uh, my clients i trained uh if you don't want to work out uh, drive to the gym, enter, and don't work out. And they usually finish the workout. Mm. Right? I'm like, just drive there and back. Yeah. Or the, the thing that, that I've noticed has been helpful for my clients is not even thinking about the whole process of getting up and getting changed and driving and getting stuck in traffic. Just step by step. I just want to get changed. Uh -huh. I'm just going to go to the car. I'm just going to turn on the car. I'm just going to drive to that red light. Oh, my God. That's actually such good business advice. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. But... Yeah, discipline is extremely important. Yeah. Discipline. What does um, Jocko Willing say? Jocko. Dis discipline sets you free. Or discipline is freedom. I don't know. That guy's a little <clears> I love that guy. Really? <laughs> he's so cool. We hate him. Really? We, 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 the he's like a real life Gears of War. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are feminists so angry? Shit, dude. I got it. Good luck. No, no comment. Let's go with streaming hard <laughs> no, mode. No comment. <laughs> I'll tell you why you hear miserable <laughs> fuck. All right, go. Uh, what do you disagree with each other on most about? Uh, uh, we disagree most. Everything. About, oh, lifestyle. Everything. Definitely lifestyle. Everything. Yeah, yeah. You, I you tell John, I'm like, balance. no. I I believe if you're young, you should be working really hard. I think that's it's so important. Like, work your ass off when you're young. You have the energy. You feel great about it. There's no better quality to have personality quality than a, a strong work ethic. It's amazing but john goes to the extent where he so he and i we share a wall i'm in the other room and he's streaming and i had to work from home that day i couldn't go to my office um i was getting tested for COVID, so i was kind of stuck at home um and so i was working from my my home office and i, I hear john like streaming and then you know i end up getting my results back the next day i go out i come back he's still streaming i go to sleep and i still hear him streaming through the the wall and I remember I came up like four in the morning. What did I say? I was like, bro, just you said, Turn stop. Off your manic. Yeah. And that was a 37 hour stream. I think you'd done. So yeah. that's just too much, but work hard. And honestly, I, I don't think it's, um, it's um funny, you can't day, maintain that. That day I formed like 10 subscriptions. <laughs> All right. Anyway, sometimes it's rough. Sorry. Right? Sometimes <laughs> thinking is hard. What do you think? <clears throat> exhausted guys i'm biggest exhausted bro from a single parent household someone uh, from a single parent household. what what do you think are the biggest mental formative issues for people from a single parent house household what do you think john i feel like this is sort of your territory because it borders on politics um i guess i would say um it really depends if it's single mom or dad but i don't want to get into the red pill shit um it doesn't uh you look at studies it does no it doesn't yeah it does uh single dads do much better with their kids than single moms single moms for, for boys you mean single moms raise murderers that's the dumbest google shit google ever. the that's stats the google, google the stats check out anyone that's in prison the dumbest shit check out check out anyone life. in prison the dumbest shit i've ever heard Dude, google life. everyone in prison who's more likely to be abusive just on average men then shut the fuck up and who who are these abusive men in prison raised by single moms I can't do that. I can't do that. And who is right? uh, Yeah, he's right. He's right. <laughs> Someone said Zerka's right. It's not fair. I, I should have access to this button too. 
Yeah, Can't be it. doing press, that fucking, fucking Charlemagne shit. Get yeah, Killjoy. Um, Here, we'll put these on. This one? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait Killjoy. You can call me Charlemagne, I'll just bitch slap you. But. I'm more wait. like Kev. Oh, you don't know who that is. Wait, wait here, that's yours. Yeah. Get closer when you do this. Like, uh, knees. Killjoy. Knees. Knees. What's a killjoy? Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> that's not even. You should be canceled for saying that shit, to be honest. Uh, he's trolling. Uh, Listen, man, the, the, the masculine role, the man, the, the father, really represents uh, the discipline and structure the kid needs. Who's Whereas more likely single, to be abusive? But a single... Who's more likely to be abusive? Why can't you answer that question? Yeah, man. And what effect does yeah. abuse have on a, a child? Who's but been single dads just do better statistically. Why can't you answer that question? Single dads... What happens? Like, does abuse uh, have, does abuse have a resent... positive or a negative okay. effect on what the child? What do you think of this? Single moms resent men and they instill beta male tendencies in their boys. To be honest, I, 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 I don't like agree either way, but to say that like men aren't it you know on average more abusive and i don't know like, what are you talking about what do you mean like you're, you're making the assumption that um men raise men no no better. men no 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 men s single dads don't do as good as a nuclear or whatever but they do on statistically do better than a single mom a single mom has a re there's a high percentage chance that's going to be a delinquent why? I gotta Google it. I don't know. The fuck? <laughs> it's it's because uh, a dad uh, brings a lot more discipline to the household than a mom, right? And a mom usually raises kids with. Uh, right, this is stupid. Right, it's yeah. mom just... hey, let me know if it gets a little too much for you. Bro, stop, bro. <clears throat> I've never even heard of that sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation. Yeah, I don't Treat know. Treat depression. I don't, don't uh, I don't recommend it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say, but we're going to avoid that topic. Oh, that's a really good point, actually. That's what I was trying to say, yeah, but yeah. I didn't want to say she's bitter. That, yeah, like, just uh, like... Because people think that I think all women are bitter, and they, they just twist my words. That's like bordering on like philosophical, almost. Yeah, like yeah. we really do that on my about, podcast a lot. Not philosophical, but like it's kind of like theoretical, you know? Uh, I'm, I, I, know, I, 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 I talk know about on my podcast how... Um, uh, like a woman's brain is more social, right? That's why, you know, they're more social. They dominate social media and all that. But uh, um, a woman's brain, when left unchecked, uh, can become very chaotic and erratic because their hormone profile pushes them more to being emotional. We just talked about testosterone. Uh, do you know what a period is? Yeah, I do, but... Do you think men are as, just as emotional as women? No, of course there's like emotional ability because of um, hormone fluctuations, but nobody would deny that. But to like deny that testosterone doesn't have also, effects women, on men in... Women also live in a world where some how come guy you can why, why don't you recognize? Why don't you re recognize like aggressive tendencies in men? Like why are you so unfair? That because the aggressive that, that... tendency is the equivalent of emotional ability in, in women. And that's due to testosterone. Okay, but like what you're was so, the question? It's, it's, well, you're talking about um, unchecked emotions or something. I forget now, but... Uh, men tend to be less emotional than women, right? And they care less. No, women you're care saying more. that, but men are more aggressive. Aggression and anger, these are emotions. They just have different emotions. Mm, okay, well... A kill joy. No, Damn. no, no. It's not a killjoy because, uh, believe it or not, though, aggression and stuff would benefit 
you. That competitive no, spirit would benefit, benefit you. Of course it doesn't it. benefit you to shoot up at like school or to like get into a fight and get no, arrested. No, I'm not talking about I'm a not, killer. I'm not saying I'm not talking way, about a murderer. But, but your thinking is so low. Why is that your so thinking is so this lip tart shit. Why I'm we're talking about murderers? No, I'm not talking about murders. I'm saying aggression will end up being that you you get into a fight or you get arrested, things like that. Or at the very best case scenario, you don't have positive relationships with other people, interpersonal relationships. Um, so how can you say like that anger is not an emotion? Women it's with masculine stupid. women with masculine traits perform better, like Hillary Clinton. Like which which masculine traits? Not anger. Um, well, she's an angry woman. I don't think so. She's ambitious, you could say that, but I don't think that quality goes in either direction. Hillary I think there's not more. An I think in the past there's been more societal pressure on men to have financial to be able to support women financially are, because we tied it to okay, their worth. If, but that has nothing to do with look, this. Like, look, look. If ninety nine percent of prison populations are filled with men, right? We could say women care more. They're you know more loving. It's the more emotional. Blah blah blah. Well, exactly. But, why but are which, our prisons filled with which men? Which hinders? Why are our prisons filled with but, men? Because there's one emotional, there's, okay, so if we talk about emotions and you want to make the, whatever emotion, whatever argument you're making about um, women's emotions, and I'm making the argument that anger and aggressiveness are emotions as well, but you don't want to touch that one. Because it's, Which one is having more of a direct effect on that person's life? Believe the it. one who's like gets upset for a couple of days, if that's the argument you're making, I'm not making that argument, uh -huh. but let's say that's the argument you're making, or the guy who's in prison for his entire life or for however long. But I'm not talking about someone in prison. I'm talking about just you brought up the prison. The argument. average. I'm talking you about you brought up the prison. No, no. I'm argument. saying the average Joe makes better executive decisions because he has a more stable hormone What's profile. You didn't so fucking overpowered, OP. Uh, the average Joe, not the prison Joe, right? The average Joe makes better. Blue pill is fucking do these. Yeah, guys. a lot of people are left and right, le yeah. left and right on this. <coughs> the, the but uh, some people love you. Some, yeah. I'm saying Just, the, like average, the argument is the uh, argument. But... No, no. The average male makes better executive decisions because he cares less about his family. He stays more time at work. How is that good for the child, though? If you care less about your family. Okay. Like you're thinking it from one aspect, from a career aspect. Yeah, from a career aspect, right? Yeah, but see, this is what I was saying to earlier be a about good you. Role you model, define, you gotta be successful, why do you, dude. You, you're picking the way you want to define success. No, I'm not because you are. No, cavemen find resources and finances big. It's an instinctive thing, right? Every human ties their self worth to finances. What's more important? For the the person, the to child have a needs career, to see, or yeah. for the child to have the a proper child, upbringing. The child needs to see a successful father. You, you're saying that that is the most important thing. Absolutely. And if the father's not present, uh, a father's love should be bitter. I don't know. All right. Compare the average third world boy to a Western raised cock. No, different I, I, styles of parenting. Yeah. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? I'm saying, you know, the the father has to be there, so, yeah, but yeah. to be super present and shit is kind of like a little much. I don't think it's that great. I don't think it benefits the child to have two of the same um, roles. I think if both parents are involved, one takes the career, and it doesn't have to be gender-based, but um, one takes on that role that you're talking about as far as career, so the child does have that good positive role model. But the idea that they're both super, super, super emotionally connected to the child, we're seeing now has not benefited the child. They become highly dependent, codependent in some cases with their parents or with partners who end up reflecting their parents. Okay, a dad is a lawyer that sleeps all day because he's tired from work, doesn't play catch that much with his kid, maybe once oh, a week. On. I think come that's on. a better role model than someone who spent plays catch and every the, day. And the child perceives, has the perception that um, he's unwanted. And then he goes on and develops a life based around those beliefs. Well, he goes and, and outdoes his dad and, and becomes more successful. They can't though. Like they from, can't. They can't because if they were to def if they were to go above their father, they take on all the responsibilities and fears that their father protected them from. Okay. Uh, what about, what's and your they, thoughts on boarding school and stuff? Isn't that a good way to raise someone? What do you mean? Like I genuinely believe boarding school is a good idea. Mm. You, you are you against it? How? Why? 
Um, I didn't have structure in my life until I had a bouncer head doorman who was a military guy screaming in my ear and, you know, straightening me out. You know what I mean? Like the first time my life. Boarding school? Friendly care package inbound. G donated $5. Just go look at the black ghettos all the fathers have left and the government has become the daddy and it's all gone to shit. So yes, the father is more important. Listen, I'm not talking about a father who ditches. I'm just talking about a, a more busy father. Look at this. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Check it out. Check it out. Okay. I had no rigid structure to my life in any job sales, moving boxes, furniture, whatever. But the first time I had a military sergeant that was also a security guard, head doorman, cut my paycheck. And he'd scream in my ear. I'm not he, saying that's not good. All I'm saying I'm is saying that, that really level good. of stress and bitter, tough love really helped me out. And I, if you get the emotional upbringing, I from did the have mother, the emotional. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. like you're you're meeting both criteria. True. Right? Yeah, yeah. I kind of was OP'd on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we spent a lot of time on that one, sorry. I'm looking at you. Okay, that's a stupid question. Yeah, fathers are crucial, exactly. Of course they are, of course yeah. they are. What the fuck? When did I say that they're not crucial? But um, there's something that happens when it's a single mother household where the percentage of... Uh, crime goes so far up for the child especially the boy uh, it's unfathomable um but i feel like you're ignoring the obvious thing that comes with a one-parent household that there's one income or potentially less than one income, i don't even depending think on that's the important the, depending on the age of the child really because that puts you in a low no, socioeconomic if, status neighborhood no no yeah and yeah. then of course who do yeah, you associate but, with you said so yourself yeah you but i'm saying if the dad with. was home and didn't have a job the kid would be much better off Right. Yeah, yeah, true. that's true. Yeah, yeah. that's what so, I'm But you're still better off having a dad in the picture. Well, maybe not actually. Better not to have a dad than to have an abusive or neglectful dad. No, no, right? not an abusive. Dad. I don't know actually. I don't know. No, no, no. That's no. an interesting. I'm saying. I'm saying. Uh, saying uh, Poverty is weakly correlated with crime, bro. Listen, where the fuck do these guys get these idiot, stats? Bro. Okay, that guy's, we got That's the out. dumbest shit I've ever heard. Okay, we're going to time out Apparently, it's not just poverty, though. How it's... to stop an angry outburst before it happened? Hmm. Sounds like you're in your feminine. <laughs> I'm kidding. What, what is it? Um, so this is what um, in psychology we would call a uh, stimulus response. Um, so stimulus being the trigger that causes you to become angry, the response being the emotional outburst. Um, what I would say is um, if we can create a buffer to put something in there, um, that um, just spaces out the stimulus and the response mm. can be the most helpful. A lot of the times our anger is automatic. Um, it's not conscious. So if you can put some sort of barrier that makes it more conscious uh, or, or makes it more um, more difficult to access mentally mm. can be most helpful. The best way to do that is to identify your triggers. Yeah. Identify what makes yeah, you mad. Kind of so you can be, be preventive, uh, preventative about it. Obviously, that's the CBT answer. I would yeah. want to explore why you get so angry. Uh, usually, there's an idea about justice or unfairness. So look at that. Yeah, that do you perceive says, an element of unfairness or in, injustice in the world or in that experience? That's usually what it is. is. Forgive your parents and the anger will drop in a flash. I don't think it's that simple. You can't just say, I forgive. You actually have to talk it out with them mm. and have that cringe moment. Yeah. Right? And it's got to be in depth, right? Yeah, with them. and You can't just say, hey, father, I forgive you. You actually yeah. have to talk about why they, what you yeah. felt I wrong. I feel like there's you. this tendency, like, we just say things. Like, just like like just forgive them. Like, it, like it's yeah. that easy. Yeah. Just, you lose, know? just lose weight, oh, bro. Oh, I just never to, thought hey, about that. Hey, just stop being depressed, bro. Oh, I never thought about that. I never thought about that. <laughs> if you cry in front of your girl, yeah, I'm really against this. She'll use it against you eventually, 100%. Uh, I agree. Do you ever see John seven <laughs> Yes, I do. Yeah. For a long time, you did actually. Uh, Essential inequality. Essentially, right, guys, focus. Yeah, How I many of these people are, are actually making an argument for the argument's sake rather than just letting their politics bleed in? Like, what what is your prediction? It's a 
literally every day they change I, their take. It's a right, chat, bro. Yeah. It's a chat. How many? Of, oh, never mind. What was the hardest thing you had to do while going to oh, school for your career? Question. I had to share a, a house with John when I was giving yeah, my presentation. Do you think you can forgive your parents if they refuse to be honest? I mean, yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. They're not going to own it fully and feel the shame, are they? If they refuse to be honest, do you think you can forgive your parents if they refuse to be honest? Could you? Yeah, just because uh, it makes you a better businessman, you know, you, you yeah, move I think, forward in life. I think maybe thinking about their motivations could be helpful for like taking the anger out of it yeah. or taking like it, not allowing it to be so personal. That's the one thing that I've noticed would, becoming a counselor that it's hard to get mad at people because or like to feel, you know, yeah, to, to get mad at people, I guess is the best one to say, because you see sort of like, well, where is this coming from? What's their motivation? What purpose is it serving? All these different questions. I would say, uh, if they refuse to be honest, you should almost take that as a compliment because they don't want to live in a world where they wronged their offspring. So it's a, it still comes from care, right? So uh, they my, they my, want to double down on their my shit. thinking went to I don't know what they're talking about exactly, but my thinking went to like shame, like maybe yeah, like they're ashamed oh, of something. And, there's Which just shame like that comes with than... being a parent, where it's like you always feel like you're fucking up too. Mm. Which is kind of interesting. I feel bad, man. I, I feel like a lot of people compare themselves you as know, parents you, to other parents. You ask any like parent, that. like, yo, how do you do it? They all say, I'm winging it, bro. Yeah. E even you have the good to. Ones. You have to. Yeah, right? Nobody until, actually knows yeah. what the fuck Unless you've had, like, that first child, you are winging it. You have to be, right? <laughs> how do you describe how you were raised? Do you think your parents' parenting was effective? I think for you two it was. For me, I kind of fell off. How so? Uh, the drugs, the drug dealing. The... No, but you're like typical um, youngest child syndrome. You know, like yeah. you were allowed to explore. I, I your, think failing in school. You were allowed to explore the like your artistic side. and um, yeah, They gave up on me. Side. Just say that. Yeah, they're like, you know what? Two, two for three. I, I would have. Well, <laughs> so they didn't give no, up. I'm just kidding. They but, didn't give up. I mean, yeah. I remember dad would always say to me, uh, when he's dropping me off in school, he's like, remember... Oh, is that why you're he, making that argument earlier? That our, our dad was sort of like the more removed, you know? And our I mean, mom he was, was more working emotional. a lot of hours, yeah. But uh, yeah. no, no. Uh, I made that argument because I, I read it somewhere. But uh, I remember our dad always dropping me off in summer school and being like, uh, I'm proud of you because you're learning it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why is this guy... Yeah, like, he's very optimistic. He's a very optimistic... Yeah. He, <laughs> I knew he was lying through his teeth, yeah. though. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, I'd rather you say nothing when I'm leaving yeah, that yeah. book bag. Right? It's like you had to say so feel like you... He was so stoked yeah. every time I finished, he'd buy me something. He'd be yeah. like, yo, let's get you a fucking full yeah. pizza when I was yeah. a fat ass. Yeah. Uh, every time I finished school. Do you think your older brother ever feels left out with how close you guys are? Um, mm. I, I feel like... Uh, no. The thing that affected our older brother the most was um, uh, he was a lot older as when we were refugees uh, trying to leave the country during the war. He was actually um, lost and uh, had, a, had a, a seriously traumatic moment. And that, uh, that shaped his whole... He, that made him a lot more different than us. Mm. Where he was lost in a war zone without his mom and dad at seven. Or eight. It's a very, yeah. very old age, if you think about it. But um, what, what does that have to do with the question? I'm saying that's why he's a lot more different No, he, than I don't think he feels left out. Because he, like, you and I always had each other. Yeah. But he always, like, went and he had, like, a big group of friends. He's very sociable and stuff like that. So Yeah, but I'm he's saying uh, from, and he has a from, all, from all these war children, all three of us, he had a, the worst. Yeah, he's experienced Mentally, shit. he's yeah, definitely seen the worst yeah, shit. Yeah. Um, which is weird because he's so <laughs> sophisticated, right? Yeah, yeah. But he's also like the oldest brother, which is usually what tends to happen, where they become very proper. And he they... was removed though a lot. He was very independent, very yeah, yeah, very different from us. Uh, whereas we would argue and hate each other. All right, I'm, I'm leaving. No, 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 chill, 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 chill. This is five minutes. Dude, I'm where you got to go, bro? I'm happens? working. It's Friday night, man. I'm I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm just staying here. I've been working so long. Sam. Mushi, I don't even know what the fuck that is. 
Is it true the first child? All, all I know about first children is you're never supposed to marry a first child. They have <coughs> serious selfish is issues. I read that uh, first child syndrome is really bad. Mm. Uh, that they're the most selfish humans you could marry. And what? Yeah, I read that. Um, middle children usually are the best, apparently, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> you think American individualism is a destructive concept? Believe it or not, mm. we are born into communities, whether family or, you know, yeah. school and stuff like that. But you're if you supposed to justify you, things you, based on the collective yeah. instead of the individual. You can justify yeah. a lot of like really heinous things. Yeah. The Nazis did it. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, but it, let's not just jump, dude. That's a little much. We're on Twitch, bro. Relax. Um, bad, but do, do but you, I'm saying like that it can, it, it's a like very slippery slope. No, but, but I do think thinking like an individual benefits you a lot. Was John actually a fat ass? Dude? No, he was not. You weren't. I Why do you always say that? I showed a photo. You were f they said I was fat. Which photo? Um, grade 8. <laughs> what the fuck? No. With the stomach, yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? No. I, Why do you always downplay it? Like, do you feel Because you always sell yourself. Friendly like, care package inbound. Apex Joe no donated $5. Even, like, I appreciate you bringing your brother on, bro. Cheers for the free therapy session. Show me the picture. Let's see the picture. I've already dropped it on Twitch. All right, I was fit. Fuck it, you know. He doesn't want to take uh, responsibility for his genetics. Okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. Yeah, I'm leaving. Child. I'm leaving. What about only child? Yeah, only children are some weak people, bro. Uh, can you explain first child syndrome? I don't know how to explain it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad that I find joy when I cheat on my girl, bro? That's probably the best part. But remember, there's no such thing as cheaters, only cotters. It's only cheating if you got caught and make right with God and never tell her and never do it again. But, you know, in the shadows is where we live. Do you have social? Uh, how to deal with depression and relapse? Hmm. Therapists are booked out for months in my city after two years of lockdown. That's, that's what I was talking about. Wow. Wait, yeah. Can't they do online? Yeah, but I think it's just... Yeah, there just aren't enough now? therapists. I'm so exhausted. I'm going. I'm going. I'm Relax, leaving. Okay, last question. Let's go. No. Good. Give me a good question. No, dude. Good, we're peaking. good you difficult have to question. Stay low. We're peaking. No, I don't want that. I don't Leave. Does he sound like me? Yeah. Yeah. Sound funny. John, very lost. Trust me. Yeah, we're going to trust you, John. Mr. What do, what do you talk about, huh? Let's see your fucking life. <laughs> Let's see. Watch you embarrass yourself now. <laughs> Let's scroll up. Let's see what you You can see about. everything they posted? Yeah. This is a rat. Why do the government... Look at all these government questions. <laughs> what a lo fucking loser this guy is. Yurka <laughs> and Dean... Look how he spells demon. Is Kelly a Twitch streamer? You should be ashamed of yourself. Kelly's never gonna fucking kiss you, bro. A narcissist ego is so funny to listen to. Yeah, you listen to me. I don't tune into your stream, bitch. You spent hours with me. You didn't make a dime, bitch. <laughs> All right, last question. I'm leaving, guys. Oh. No, he's not a flat earther. <sighs> Does having something to always work on starve off the Stay. drain of existentialism? Uh, nothing can stop that. Does having something to always uh, work on save off the drain of existentialism? If you're passionate about it, it can help. Yeah. What else are you going to do? <laughs> Thoughts, Thoughts on, on eating? eating? That's a good one to end on. No, no, we're ending on a good one. Fuck this guy. You're done, bro. Fucking degenerate. How are you able to compartmentalize the trauma from your client and not oh, bring that, it home with you? That's hard. That's hard. You have to have like good self-care, I guess. Like I go to the gym usually afterwards and it, it's been so good for helping me like shift my... Oh, like, you think from, of weights and stuff right away? Yeah, like kickboxing especially. But yeah. um, that's so good for putting me in a different place. Um, um, 
Yeah, that's we we definitely talked a lot about Anna's that. It's not here. always easy. Get the fuck out of here. No Anna. way. Let's find out if she's in chat. No, she's not. <gasps> Anna, bro, can I get her on a call? She's uh, finishing her masters right now, but people are skeptical of her in my <laughs> chat because she doesn't answer questions like you. I'm leaving though. I'm no, no, talk to her on a call first. No, okay. no, I'll just listen. No, no, quickly. Go we, I'm just gonna ask you guys both a question. Anavar, I'm gonna call you. This is gold, bro. Two therapists, right? Or one therapist and Anavar. <laughs> <laughs> She's not working yet. She's adorable. Bro. Okay. Careful, she might write a man. She write, wrote a manifesto on a on a guy. Manifest. Anna, God, Anna. hi, John. How are you doing, Anna? Oh my God. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you typing away? What? Your mic is off. We can't hear you. Yeah, but, sorry, sorry. It's, I, okay. it's off. Who's that with you? You can't hear me at all. Yeah, we. Can no, hear we you. hear you. Okay. Cool. Anna, Anna, how's your day, Anna? That was good. Wait, what kind of therapeutic approach do you use? I just oh, want to know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I use a couple of different ones: uh, CBT, DBT, exposure yeah. and response prevention. And I'm trained. I'm getting trained in EMDR. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yes. One. Yeah, I am. It's yeah, really yeah. good for PTSD. Yeah, yeah I want to get certified in EMDR as well. That's the best. DBT. One, I think. Are you wait? You're CBT in school right now? Yeah, in my master's program. Nice, nice. When do you graduate? In about what? a year. Why has John been talking so much shit about you? Uh, that's just what he does. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Also, she, she's the one person to cry on my stream. Ugh. So she's in, yeah, she's seriously. Boring. It's okay. Anna, she's emotional. It's, no, it's almost, it. John, it's not, John's it's not, a bully. He's a bully. No, not me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Anna, 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 I'm um, like, wait, dude, have you been listening the entire time? No, I just got here. This oh, sucks. I wish it. I damn it. <laughs> no, no Anavar, my, my my question is like uh how do you deal with uh someone who comes to you and says uh uh I have serious I have serious narcissism. <coughs> I mean it might not be like true right like they might think they're like narcissistic but maybe say, they're not right, you know. It's me. It's me. I need help. <laughs> Sandwich me, you guys. <laughs> Get him, Anna. Do, does your brother does your brother think that you're narcissistic? Yeah, of course, of course. I've known him a long time. John, like high, I think he'd score like in the ninetieth percentile, maybe, as far as yeah. narcissism is concerned. Um, yeah, that was yeah. <laughs> was that your diagnosis too? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Get him. Yes, what, what, just, what, just what educated, yes, that's what, all. What, 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 what She's gave, got the night shifts, I what, take care of John during the day. What gave it away? Is it the half a million views overnight or the highest paid affiliate? <laughs> it's a lot of things, John. Anna, what is, things, yeah, what is, is it? The, is, is it the check mark? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Anna, what would you, what would you say? Well, what, what should I start doing every day? Let's hear your advice and then Eden's. I want. I want to fix myself. I want to balance out. I want to be mm. like you guys. I think John. Go you know, ahead. you can still be yourself, John. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but let's say. Let's <laughs> say I want. I, let's say I want to. Uh, I want more balance, like you guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah. honestly, you would have to like actually get a professional therapist for that, though, John. I want honestly, you. I want you so we can make out during the session. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, John. That goes against. The, that's vi that violates ethical codes. <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna be fucking doing lines. Fire in the, Anna, can fire I do a him, line of poem? Set up your boundaries, I... Anna. <laughs> Yo, don't let him. Don't let Anna. Him. What would you do if I did a fat line of coke in the office right in front of you? I mean that boundaries. that I I yeah. would probably. Would it be narcissistic I mean, honestly, if I didn't offer you a line? <laughs> <laughs> I would just be like, what the fuck? I don't. wouldn't even know how to react to that. Like, I heard I would Freud. Just be like, oh. Was, what if I said I'm trying to be more like Freud? <laughs> I mean. You know, I think Freud was a little, a little bit narcissistic himself, to be honest. Like, so. What's your biggest critique of him? <laughs> I like Freud. I, I appreciate Freud. I like psychoanalytic theory, especially modern psychoanalytic, like the approach. Uh, you know, object relations and all that. I love mm -hmm. that stuff. Well, you know, I, I have respect for Freud. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything you don't like? 
Um, well, I, d- I don't really like how he was pretty fucking sexist. And uh, it was a little... Uh, that was my favorite part. <laughs> oh my Wait, god come, come up come up Anna. i can't right now i have to get ready for infrared's panel actually get the fuck out of here when is that um that's pretty much in like 20 minutes <laughs> uh, i'm gonna I'm a host you guys into the show okay okay but come up for a bit and then i'm gonna host you guys okay um, I can't, like, I'm straightening my bangs. I gotta go. No, <laughs> no, just for a minute. Just for a few minutes. The chat want to see you. No. <laughs> Come on. Okay, go. John, and next time you have your brother on, like, damn it, you gotta let me know. <laughs> you, you guys yeah, would love easy. each other. Hey, do your Harley thing. No. <laughs> no way. I don't, okay. I don't need to, like, I don't need to, like... Wait, wait, I tell don't my brother. Crazy. Tell my brother. I once asked her a crazy hypothetical because uh, she said she prenup means no marriage. Like she need she you can't do right. that with her. I once asked okay. her what if a guy. What what if ni- I said what if ninety nine percent of his income went to saving starving children and he wants to marry you. He's giving you a house, a car, everything, but all the income is going don't to starving that. children. Anna, don't fall yo, for yo, that. Don't no, 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 no. Yo, check this. To- check this out, bro. Her answer was. Her answer was. I would not marry him if don't I don't. John get... use the extreme to to make right. his argument. That's Bro, fucked. she let the kids no, starve. Just, she yeah, said yeah, live. She let the kids John starve in life. John to use extremes. Don't, you don't yeah, have to answer those, Anna. I'll, I'll be your lawyer today. Anna, what is? I'll st- help you, Anna. I have twenty seven years of experience fighting this guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I can even help. longer actually. Um, longer and for twins. Yeah, and yeah, and check it out, Anna. Um, I know all what is strikes. what is stonewalling. Okay, so that's like usually in the context of like an in like intimate in, intimacy, like dating sort of relationships, some some kind of intimate like where there's romance relationship. Or I guess it could technically happen in friendships too. So it's like when you're having a conflict and the one person just like completely withdraws, uh, like emotionally withdraws. But isn't from the aren't conflict. you supposed when she's arguing? Aren't you just supposed to close the door and leave? That would be stonewalling. <laughs> Right. Like you're supposed to ask for like a break, <laughs> <laughs> break <laughs> instead of just like w- like literally just like n- like ignoring like walking away or like stop responding scream- or something. What if she's screaming? Oh, okay, well that's a little bit different, right? Because people don't need to be screamed at, but <laughs> it still kind of helps to be like, <laughs> let's take a break and come back to this conversation when we're both like cooled off a bit. Yeah, but yeah, shouldn't, but shouldn't, don't you, Anna, wouldn't you want to meet the client where they are? I imagine if they're having fights like that, it's not that easy to do. Like that's everybody's yeah. goal to do that, right? But you meet the for client sure. where they are. Maybe they can't get there. But should, yet, shouldn't so, yeah, should, for sure. So maybe There's walking a lot out of is the that best, need some work best option to get there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if he's a competent man, shouldn't she just listen to everything he says? <laughs> get him! <laughs> get him, Anna! <laughs> I'll take care of him here. Oh my God, John! How do you put up with this, Anna? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I just kind of, I've accepted how John is. And so, you know, just, <laughs> I just expect it. You know, it's not like shocking at all. <laughs> I'm just like, yep, okay, that, that, you know, that tracks. <laughs> good, good. And I told my brother how many, how rich your parents are. Oh my God. Yeah. My parents aren't even that rich. It's like extended family. Yeah, but you said your parents they have, like, have There's like a lot of landlords property. in my family. Bro, she's rich. Where are you staying at right now? Um, a house. Is it the same, same, same place. Yeah, same place. Uh, what's the panel about today? Is it politics? Uh yeah, politics. Yeah. And what are your politics? Where do you align? I tend to be left leaning. Economically, but for <clears throat> your social values, you're a libtard. Well, I don't know. I mean, I kind of do appreciate like some traditional social values, but like also what? yeah, more liberal. It depends. <laughs> Like what? Well, like, I mean, you know, I'm in favor of people getting married or and like, I'm not really a big fan of like hookup culture and all of that. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and, and I don't know, people trying to stay together instead of like getting divorced, especially when there's kids involved, like going for, I don't know, marriage counseling. I don't think it's really that. It's not like my opinions <laughs> are really that controversial, I don't think. I mean... But I guess, like, a, it, if you're talking to online leftists, like, they would kind of think that my opinions are more, like, trad wifey sounding, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you guys make up a lot of terms, eh? What the fuck's a tr- trad wife? 
No, tradcon oh, is yeah. trad conservative. Oh, tra- oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Dana yeah. Has, like yeah. terms for mm. um, uh, Anna, how come every liberal has like fucking mental issues? Oh my god, John! I'm kidding, <laughs> I think I'm that might just be your perception of right, them. Right. He's projecting, you know, he's projecting what I, Anna. What, what I think comes with this ideology of individual liberty is everyone thinks humans are born good. Do you think humans are born good, Anna? Uh, I think that they're born more so like neutral, to be honest. Yikes. But I do think like, like, that yikes. people tend to lean more towards like but what I'm, we would consider good traits. Yeah, like Anna, Anna, do, don't you teach a kid how to be good, not how to be bad, because humans are born in a fallen state where they're inflicted and wicked? <laughs> <laughs> That's something that Freud would say for sure, but I kind of disagree with that. I think humans are more so neutral. Do you believe and in yeah, the you devil, know. Anna? The devil? <laughs> I, think the, I think the best concept of the devil I ever heard was what, what the barrier is between the subconscious and the conscious is the devil. What do you think of that? The I've never barrier, heard that the, one. So your subconscious is an elephant. You appease it with a peanut, but it has its own mind of its own. It goes in its own direction. And you have to appease it. You have to kind of make, you know, what your subconscious is your subconscious, right? And why you can't know your true self is because your consciousness cannot fully connect with your subconscious because the devil interrupts it. Devil? Well... <laughs> I uh, who's I'm wondering who said that. <laughs> I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, in no, your I'm a philosopher. In your dreams, you're your true self, right? Mm-hmm. That, that, nah. that shameful feeling you know. have in your dreams, right, is your tr- true thought of yourself. I don't know if that's necessarily true. All dreams, especially the ones that are uh, self harm, whether you're dreaming about a toxic boyfriend, whatever the fuck. All dreams are uh, unfulfilled wishes. I mean, that could be one aspect of dreams. That's certainly one theory. There's a lot of theories about what dreams are, though. All- I know, what, what theory do you lean towards, like, from a psychology perspective? Probably more so. I, I Honestly, I think, like, kind of Freud a little bit in really? terms of dreams. Yeah. Or not just dreams, just in general, like, as oh, a counselor. Oh, um... <sighs> Well, I'm kind of similar to you where like I sort of like a um a lot like like an eclectic approach where it's mm-hmm. like cuz I do I do like DBT and CBT but also I do appreciate like the uh, theoretical approach of like psychodynamic mm-hmm. cuz I think that I think that like it is really important to look at childhood and like you know attachment patterns and everything particularly mm-hmm. I think they do define quite a bit of, like how people interact with others like later in life especially okay you're a student right now yeah here's my advice as a therapist the thing i've found most effective is start with cbt stabilize the client and then move into psychodynamic yeah that's the best approach you can take how much longer do you have to graduate about a year about a year Uh, yeah are you in the u.s or canada you got a lot to learn the u.s in the u.s yeah yeah i'm already certified in like um like uh trauma-informed like was it like tra- like a trauma informed approach of like CBT for like kids and ad- adolescents? It's kind of it's like a specific type, but yeah, I do like CBT. It's mm. it's also like the one that insurance companies like the best too. So yeah, yeah. Now fuck the insurance yeah. companies. <laughs> it's kind of they don't need to know shit about the counseling part of it, right? They just yeah. offer the coverage. They're not the professionals. We are. Um, no, I know they try to act like it though. Yeah. <laughs> The US, I don't know how it works in the U.S. Is it like as fucked up as like the healthcare system and all that stuff? Like, oh right, you guys are Canadian. That's right. Yeah. No, it's like it's definitely pretty fucked up. Yeah. And I was thinking of also becoming a psychologist. Do you recommend it? You know, John. Um, I I, th- I'm I was not thinking sure. of going I... to I was thinking of going to Trump University. <laughs> Trump University. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Can you imagine? Okay, okay, I have to go. Infrared just went live. <laughs> oh, bye, Anna. Bye, Anna. Okay, it I was nice too? talking to you. See ya. Can I go too? Sorry, uh, John, you have to do this by yourself. Yeah, I'm going to host them and I'm going to come chill with you, okay? I'm, I'm leaving. It's too late. What the fuck? We just chilled for like two hours. Where are you trying to go? <laughs> Going out. We're done work. Let's do the, it's what too we, late. Let's no, do it's what fun. we do. Oh, but we do have to send those forms. No, out, but... and 